Welcome to the red light just went off from yesterday. It's Collider Live, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on Wednesday, October 23rd. Uh, it, it is a pleasure to be back talking to you all. And what a crew we have today. Not only do we have the best hair in the business, Alex, uh, here today. Uh, we also have for you. Cody. Yeah. Second best hair in the business, Roxy Stryer, <laughs> and finally, so Josh McCuga. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Oh, Mark Riley's here. Yeah, yeah. Mark Thank Riley's you got his loser hat on. Yeah. I do. I'm, I'm flying the flags, <laughs> trying to stay yeah. positive with my legs. I positive. don't understand your sports. Life. Oh. He's like, from Los Angeles. Yeah, but you, I feel like you wear a different city LA. hat no, all the time. He does. No. It's usually it's Rams. Usually. No, you wear and, Rams, and, yeah. and, and Lakers. And Lakers. That's it. And occasionally it. Seahawks. Seahawks, uh, okay. yeah. yeah. He just, it's, I know, he's all I know. over the map. But he's got the SC hat, too. Yeah, it's, usually, yeah. It's, it's mostly California. It's, yeah. it's, it's L.A. I, yeah. you know, when when the Rams left me, when back when did they leave? Back in the nineties? Uh, nine? No, I think it was like eighty. Yeah, eighty nine. Yeah, because I grew up with the Rams, and then for years it didn't have it. And then I followed Pete Carroll up to Seattle and started rooting for them, and then the Rams came back. Yeah, what could I do? Yeah. Dude, I remember one of the crazier things was the first Rams preseason game that they ever played back in Los Angeles, like three years ago, yeah. whatever. Yeah. We were at Mom Mom's in Newport. That's right. Yeah. And remember, we all started talking about getting uh, season tickets. Really, like, let's get yeah. season tickets. That never happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's mom mom's a bar? Uh, no, uh, yeah, bar, it, oh, it, oh, it oh, acts as a bar. Oh, you're but, right. but there's <laughs> actually a bar. It's my grandmother's. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's called Mom's anymore. But no, it is. Is it's, it? And it's awesome. It's uh, over on uh, like Brockton like and Santa Monica. Or yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's like what an happened? SC kind of a spot. I'm sorry. Did you, I, you say, you're talking about your grandmother's place. Yeah. And I and you said, we're in this place, Mom Mom. She said, what's Mom Mom's bar? I go, strip club. And, and he, <laughs> so we all missed it. He goes, my grandmother's like, oh, my God. <laughs> hey. It does sound like it could be a strip God, club. God right? rest her right. soul. She's yeah. looking over me right now going, no. No, no, you need to talk to him after that. Well, the that. funny part is, though, speaking of, like, of <laughs> strip club kind of behavior, the one time a man and I went there, she lost a pair of pink panties, and she doesn't know. And she How thinks, did she lose them? We she, don't know. We have no idea if like a dog stole them at Mom Mom's house. Yeah. Do you know this story? And yes. And again, my stupid head, because we're talking about, still other, thinking I, about strip clubs. I said, how yeah. did she lose her <laughs> underwear in a strip club? What's happening, man? Is it, is it, no, in the grandmother's house. I remember this story. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And then randomly, yeah. we were we were walking to we take like, care of uh, right. Dan yeah, and Mara's cats. Yeah. And uh, there right. it is. Yeah, and we ready. saw the, the underwear hanging on a doorway uh, in the hallway. We sent a picture to you saying we found them. Yes. Well, exactly. We found them. Uh, I don't know how, but we found them. I don't Run know for how. it, Marty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look. Run for it, Marty. Run for it, Marty. Good way to that start it. That is a it. Back to the Future reference. It nice. Is. Who directed it? Um, oh, uh, Zemeckis? Yay! Yeah! Roxy, 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 Roxy. I blanked, Roxy. but then I told myself, chill, you got this. You got you did, this. Yeah. So did the score. That was like, uh, this is us last night. Watch the bubbles. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, I relate to that the hardest uh, of all things. Yeah. I sobbed in break, and uh, oh. I woke up. My wife last night, I was crying so hard in bed from watching the, This Is Us. This Is Us was excellent. My wife watched it last night, but I didn't hear crying. Cause I, I've been going to sleep early. I'm surprised yeah. you were crying. Why? Why? The last scene with the ice cream. Oh, yeah, that's great. It really great. got me. Really? Yeah, yeah. it's great. Uh, it's some great. ice cream. You, know, you didn't get yeah, none. You <laughs> didn't get none. Because <laughs> you was on the welfare. Yeah. And can't <laughs> afford it. You can't yeah. afford it. Anyone? Come on. Anyone? I don't know what that's from. Is this your band? Yeah, no, yeah. it's Eddie Murphy. Eddie delirious. Murphy. <laughs> oh, delirious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought that the, I miss your band. Why don't we play them anymore? No rhyme, no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Cody, Cody, Cody's got it. Cody's got it. Motherfucking. I thought, I thought that was one of your songs. No. Motherfucking. It's close. Motherfucking. Sounds like it. Mother Miss your ice cream. Yeah, I didn't realize. You know what? A bigger hit than I gave it credit for, and I found this out yesterday. Huh. How you doing now, you know? <laughs> People like now, you know. Yeah, so, now you know, uh, now you last know. time you did it, I didn't know what it was from, but I really liked it. What is that? So, it's the, the crazy, my crazy friend Barnaby, the one who went to prison and, and did the thing with the clippers. With the so, he, I didn't tell, I actually didn't tell this part At of the, the story. The movie theater thing you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one who had the, uh, the Mortal Kombat thing yeah, yeah, and clipped yeah. the lock. Um, so he, there's this kid, I don't want to say the, the guy's name, that was that we based this voice off Greg. of. Greg. Sure, we'll call him Craig. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm going to say his last name. It was, it was Charles is what we called him, okay. right? Charles. And so Barnaby would, would mess with them 
all the time, mm-hmm. right? And it was it was almost it was this. But they, not he worked bu- at the theater not, with you guys. No, no, no. This was in high school. This oh. wasn't like a, there wasn't a bullying situation. They would just have they just had beef, right? And in science class, he made Charles smell this thing that no one should be smelling. It was like chemicals. Like, oh, what are you doing? Are you hurt me now, you know? And, it, and <laughs> so, so hey, did he speak like he that? He would say that, and then you know, uh, uh, whatever. Bob, you can't, you can't do this because if you're doing it, because you, you now you know. And, was and he from America? He was, but he would, but he just had like this thing. So Barnaby would then say, but he took it to the extreme, and then Barnaby made a song about uh, about him, and uh, he was sitting on the Bus. Now you knew, now you knew. <laughs> I'm talking to my friend. Now you knew, now you knew. <laughs> Barnaby, but bothering me, it's bothering me. Now you know. And I told this holster, when then we made it a big full character. <laughs> and when I first got to LA, I had this guy. He was a he was a he was a music producer, and we went to his. He had his uh, studio in Compton. It was awesome, and uh, Tupac had done some stuff there no too. Shit. It was awesome. And I was uh, and I started riffing, and I did the Now You Know song, and he put a beat to it. Oh, no. And he worked up in the, in this at Luna Park Club that I talked oh, yeah. to to Jamie Kennedy about. And we were we were there one night. It was me, and my friend Jay, and and this guy who was the producer, and we're trying to get these people out of the main room of the club. <laughs> And so we're like, wait, 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 let's put on the now you know. <laughs> now you know, now you know. And this guy starts Do you have dan- the song? No. And the guy starts dancing to it, right? And we're like, look, he's dancing, he's dancing <laughs> to it. Then we kept playing it. We kept playing it. So then this guy comes running up. He's like, why do you keep playing this song? Do you want people to leave? And at the same time, all three of us went, yes. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, and then they all wiped out, but like, yeah, but knew. people, I didn't realize. How are you doing, now, you know? I when I doing? when I bartended, I may have told this. I think I told. I know I told it on the afternoons. I don't know if I told it on here, but so when I bartended, uh, you know, lights would go up and people always hung around the bar. Like lights would be up yeah. and we'd be cleaning. It'd be like, hey, hey man, uh, it's like do you lay for one more beer? I'm like, yes. Right. The it's lights clearly are like, for a I'm counting money in front of you, right? right? So I talked to the DJ and I put together a playlist of Get the Fuck Out songs, right? And it was all 80s uh, TV theme songs. Uh, right? oh, and perfect. so it would always start with Charles in Charge, right? <laughs> and like it, and he would turn the volume way up and yeah. the girl, the, and everybody would just be like, yeah. do you want us to leave now? I'm like, yes! That's the that's point. That's the Charles in right. Charge song. Means yeah. Get the farts so we out both, of here. We both use Charles. Yes. Yeah, it's yes. like, yes. time to leave yes. now, you know. Uh, uh, anyway. I want to hear it. Yeah, what, it's Charles the, in Charge song? No, no the Now You Know song. I used to have it. It was on a CD, and it was all scratched and everything, too, but it was it was amazing. There's a new boy in the neighborhood lives downstairs, and it's understood. He's there just to take good care of me. Like he's one of the family. Charles and Charge. I can't hit that note. Can't hit I it. I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was before Cody's time. Yeah, Cody. Yeah. Cody was one of the kids. Yeah. 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 Oh, so here's a here's a trivia uh, question for all you guys. You might know it, so shut your face. Uh, um, right, I'm fine. Who was who played the actor? <laughs> who was the kid who played the actor? Who was the kid in the Rock Johnson? The Rock Johnson. I guess so. The Rock the Johnson Rock movie. Johnson. Uh, the Tooth Fairy. Who was the kid? Oh, I do know this. Um, it's the girl from Matilda. No, the boy. Who's who was the boy? Uh, Nicholas Holt. It's incorrect. Do you know the answer? Is it the girl from Matilda? Hey, though? John Roca. Not John Roca. John Roca was seventy-five years old when that movie came out. What's is that? it the girl from Matilda? Though, isn't that the movie? It's possible. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the girl from Matilda is in the, is in Two Stars, But I, I mean, like, you probably still won't know the answer. This is hysterical. Uh, but you and you will know the answer is Brendan the Kid Meyer. No way. Yeah. Can you bring up a picture and see wow. if that is actually the kid? Yeah, that's right. right. He was also the kid. He was that's also right. the kid in um, in the guest. Well, oh, I knew uh, the guest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that kid. You know who was an I extra in, movie. in the movie House Guest? Oh, there he is. Look, look, let's go to the Tooth Fairy poster. That's correct. Oh, this wasn't the movie I thought you were talking about. Can we zoom in? <laughs> Wait, what movie was it I think you were talking about no called idea. Tooth Fairy? Look at him. It's so different there. Well, he does look so different. He had hair. Yeah. Well, what's the, what's the name wow. of the girl? Christy Alley. Kirstie Alley. That's Kirstie in Alley. Look Who's Talking. Well, no, no, oh, no, yeah. no, what no, no. Kirstie Alley was in Cheers. No, She's 70. No, Kirstie she Alley had was... a Tooth Fairy movie, guys. I don't think there she is. did. There he is. Come on, come on. Was he on like a bunch of Disney stuff, that kid? I think so, but he's in a ton of ton of stoof. Yeah, what was I mean, it? That haircut is all Disney, 19, you know, 2007, yeah. 2008. Kid's a good actor, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. Who, who wins in a fight, him or Sam Levine? 
I think Sam. Sam's got Sam. Can, Sam can get that little. I, I haven't seen the kid get angry. I can see. Uh, I've seen Sam get angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Sam can throw some hands. I'm just thinking of like childhood stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get Brian it. Meyer versus yeah. Sam Levine. Yeah, it would be good. I, those two competing would be good too. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree. like that. Is uh, Sam still in the league? No, he's out. He he's commissioner ish. Uh, oh, although okay. Emma wants to throw him out. Got it. Uh, so it's, yes, suck my dick. It was oh. called. Sorry. Sorry. It was Whoa. called. Whoa. Y'all. Sorry. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you guys for joining us today. We'll see you next month. It's called Toothless. With Kirstie Alley, toothless, toothless. Uh, but the girl from Matilda's not in it. <laughs> okay, so no, so it had nothing. Didn't even have the same title. Roxy Stryer, yeah, everybody. Yeah. It's here yeah, for but, well, this is who I thought you were talking about. Whoever that little, but that's not him. Not even close. Whatever. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Speaking yeah. of Emma Fife, she will be on Rumor Mill today, live oh, 2 awesome. p.m. on a like video against Perry and Mark Riley. Yeah. So I won't uh, give a spoiler or not, but uh, the the draft bowl she competed in was her versus Dagnino and Kaiser, and yeah. they all played phenomenal. Yeah. Emma and Dagnino got big pops with cheers from the crowd. Kaiser got booed out of the building. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was amazing. If Josh had been in that, Fantastic. then there had been a four way, who would have won? I think Josh. Yeah, yeah, I think McCuga would have won. He would be. I think he would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Emma plays. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to say. I don't want to spoil it. I but should watch and see how many I know. Yeah, I'd like to I see. Place. Emma's yeah. Emma's sneaky, pretty damn good. So oh, yeah. um, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. But I think that it would have been. A, it would have been a fight. But you guys, once again, you can watch that the dot com. It's still available uh, to stream until Friday. Friday it'll be live to everyone. And that will be up uh, very soon. And with finally, the Schmodown Spectacular. It's getting hyped up here. I had a picture yesterday. There's only a few more VIP seats left. And the theater is, you're going to have, a, I, I'm hoping that you can be there because the, the theater is going to be such a great, um, it's going to be a big atmosphere, electric. And we're going to do the little mini Schmodown Con beforehand, get to meet the players, play some games, win some prizes. So check that out. We're, tickets going pretty fast. The Schmodown Live. Uh, com. How many seats is the theater? A little over 350 or something like that. We did a smaller one for this one because we wanted to More really capture the, yeah, we wanted, I mean, the energy of it. I mean, even this one that we did the, the, in, in Florida, uh, this, the theater alone sat around Sweet. 900, but we got about 550 in there. We just didn't use the up top. Um, and it was, that crowd was the, probably the craziest crowd we had so far. I was missing your energy there too, because we had some good. We definitely had. Uh, it, it was it was great. But yeah. I, were you, you, you missing would have fired up. my energy? I have ideas for you. Mm. I have ideas for you. What are you? How are you feeling about for the draft? By the way, how are you feeling? So are you looking at that roster? I I am. You um, have been. I was looking at it yesterday. Actually, were you? Yeah. Uh, One hundred and thirty-five people in this in this draft. Um, Please don't pick the wild berries. <laughs> her? Yeah. You don't want her to get drunk? No. <laughs> You're too serious. You're like always up in our grill. <laughs> no, I know. I think it takes a coach to know their players. I would never treat you guys the way that I treat Snyder or Andreco. Okay, she good. would have fun with you. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 That's nice. So I think some good people manager. it's about winning, some people it's about entertainment, and both things are totally valid. Right. And so I wouldn't be like, what would you study last <laughs> night? Right. No, no, like, not gonna no, not going to happen. You'd be like Jägermeister. Yeah. No, I, yeah. Yeah. I walk you out before I held your leg to do a keg stand. That's, That's true. Right. You did do that. That's my bad. I'm a team Sorry. player. Yeah. Right. We're good, 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 good. Cool. You got your um, eyes on octopus. somebody in particular, not including the odd couple? I, I have a lot of thoughts. I don't yeah. want to let anybody okay. know what's going on, but I I have I have a whole um, brand. I'm, I'm doing a whole thing. I like it. You got oh. somebody to name your team so I can make sure it's... Um... I know what it is. All right. Tell me afterwards. Yeah. Unless you want to reveal it now. No. Okay. Fine. No. Uh, I also... That will be revealed at the spectacular, though. Is it Cat Ashes? Like yesterday, uh, 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 I was like cat statues. <laughs> cat statues. Cat statues. Yeah. Ooh, the cat statues. Is it mean? is it weird flying birds? Or... The cat's juice. The cat's juice. Yes. I didn't have the heart to tell my dad. He called me yesterday and was like, "How come you were so interested in Elvis's ashes yesterday?" <laughs> yeah, that's really and I was bad. like, just thinking about it. Just thinking him. about it. Yeah, um, someone suggested say? to me one of your names. By the way, I don't know if you said it or this is what they said, and I liked it. C three P no. Oh. <laughs> Three <laughs> no. Very good. Yeah, Shoot. I like that one. I think you said it first. I don't think he said that one. I don't think I said that. No, one. that was the one that they suggested on the. Somebody tweeted or Instagram me. If I forget what, let me hold on. Be, like if you yeah. Speaking yeah. of that of Star Wars, yesterday Collider released oh, yes. a video. Oh yeah, uh, it's oh, we need to show some. Of George that. Lucas reacts to this yeah. Rise of Skywalker. Don't, don't say anything else, can, uh, Cody. Can you? Because this is this is something we actually can play because w w the company owns it. Um, yeah. Can you bring it up? Because I, Roxy knows nothing about this. Well, I all. I know is that I watched another. I watched one of these with Tom Cruise. Oh, you did watch? Well, they didn't. They, what? What from Collider? 
Yeah. Well, it's not out, uh, not on video. Did you show it for Frank show it to you? No, no. It was from like August. No. It was no not I know what you're talking video. about. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah I, that's from, old one. This is new. Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. You're okay, talking about yeah, the yeah. Iron Man one. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, this, no, not the, that's not this. That's I, not this, okay. No, you, I know then exactly. I really don't Sorry. know what's happening. Yeah, yep. so here it is. This, and this already has almost, what, 100,000 views? Uh, yeah, 94. Oh Look at this. Can you turn it up? That we're gonna use? Is, is there a way we can do like a green screen? Can we bring in a green screen there, Jimmy? <laughs> so he just follows me around with a green screen. Have you ever done a reaction before? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've reacted, certainly. Oh, I've, oh, I've reacted at these, but never like this before. Okay. Oh, God, kill me. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's my name. It's another check for daddy. <laughs> Does this end or... Oh, you dropped something. The plot. <laughs> Ray. Oh, what, what character development. What an arc for Ray, huh? I mean, Jesus Christ, at the end of Empire, Luke had his hand taken off and the hand solo was in carbonite or whatever. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, my God. It's great because I didn't make it. Ultimately, uh, I'm not to blame. <laughs> oh, that's Rose. I, her sister died or something trying to throw a space grenade. <laughs> and I saved a bunch of horses or something. And... Oh, look, it's Camino. Look at that. That's where all the cloners live. <laughs> well, I can actually feel my life essence draining. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, you, you watch the rest that, of it. You watch the rest of it. It's, it's really Frank again. Frank is a, is, he's Wait, an absolute... What is the guy who he, the guy who pl does the George Lucas impression, his name is Josh Robert Thompson. Yes, he's he's really he is incredible. incredible. His yeah, Morgan Freeman is the best. What, uh, George Lucas has to have seen this. I don't know. At this point, somebody that. sent it to him. Maybe because it just it just came out yesterday. It's already got like eighty thousand views. It's yeah. killing it. It's, 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 it's ninety four thousand. Ninety four thousand. Yeah. Awesome. So it's doing, and that's not yeah, even the updated. Do you think he looks at that and is like, "Did I do that?" It's 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 one of the best because Frank is. This is the thing people don't understand about Frank. Good at this. But this is what yeah. Frank is a fucking genius. Yeah. And Frank. he is a genius. He's yeah. a genius in directing, he's a genius in editing, and he's got one of these minds that when he wants to f figure out stuff, he figures it out. And that's that's not even at you wait until he really figures it out. That's yeah. that's him after that's he's like been a do, week of He's doing been it. doing this for like 2 months. Wait, can we can we I want to see some comments. I want to see what the oh, comments it's are. All they're, they're they're all, yeah, it's, it's yeah. mostly positive. There's, yeah, there was one. That, oh my god, I got to read it because it, there's it, there's some it, that people don't no, like. These, it. No, but it's not just that. Our humanity is 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 cursed. Okay. Uh, yeah. Listen to this comment. I, I have to point it out because it's the stupid. It, picture of it? Yeah, it's the stupidest comment I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, just to let everybody know, this is a deep fake reaction. Everything's fake. They just put some random actor there, and, and then they edited George's facial appearance. I'm really pissed if whoever done this stupid shit. It's disrespecting Lucas. Wow. Really, it's fake. <laughs> what a twist. Oh no no no! There are tons of people who think George Lucas came into the and sat down and did this. <laughs> yeah, I greeted him because he he's gonna he... talk. He's gonna Talk to Mark Fernandez and Riley. Yeah, yeah. He parked. He parked in uh, Fernandez's the fuck spot. Is wrong with people and came in, used our bathroom. I got him some coffee. I mean, come on. How dumb. Do also, you have it to says be? it in the title. Uh, it says it in the title. Yeah, deep Guys, deep. don't be tricked. No shit. <laughs> it's the point of the video, you buffoon. We were talking yesterday. What is the title of it? George right. Lucas reacted. George deep Lucas fake. react a deep fake uh, reaction. Grouchy, deep fake, salty uh, or something. Salty, yeah. Sel salty, salty celebrity, celebrity deep, deep, fake. deep fake. Yeah, that's what it's, uh, it's, Fernandez it's is going for. It's in first. the title. And yeah. no shit, George Lucas didn't walk into Collider and sit down and start shitting all over Star Wars for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you we for letting were, me know. We were talking yesterday, like we were reading the comments, and they were all positive, and we were like yeah. shocked because nobody likes anything ever. And then we started, we, we just, it always goes to the rabbit hole of Captain Learning. <laughs> <laughs> it always does. It did, someone, does. did someone comment no, on it? No, no, no. 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 We, no. we, we all started were talking, talking about it. I was it. like, this is what we thought the reaction yeah. to Captain Learning was going to be. We really, really did. And then I remember Ken was out of the office. I was on my way into the office and Riley calls and it was just like, <sighs> yeah. who was out of town? Wasn't somebody in town? Ken was out of town. Ken was out of town. It's yeah. around this time. He was in Ken Vegas. Ken was about to quit and live in Vegas. I know. He yeah, was, he was, he was really in bummed. Vegas, which yeah. I think he's Everybody there now. Everybody was so excited yeah. about Captain Learning, myself uh, yeah. included. Yes. And it just bummed. This and it was is so unfortunate. good. This is great. This is so, so It's great. So They're going to do so and there's more. There's, there's, we, we've talked about other celebrities that we could do. Yeah, there's more that's, well, there's a lot of other stuff coming down the pike. And Fernandez, when he gets 
kind of hooked on one thing, whether it's VR or whatever. He, he it's like a this brand is, new toy. This, this is, is this he talked to me about a, a very, very specific voice. I don't want to give it away in case they're going to do hers, but I was like, Are you crazy? Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, oh, right. literally the hardest person to imitate on the planet. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you told me about that one. Do you, but you need to watch this, Josh Robert Thompson. Go on his YouTube channel. Great. His Morgan Freeman is unbelievable. He did it, he did it for like visa commercials and yes. stuff, too. Yeah, yeah he's, and he, he did a George Lucas pilot that he he funded yeah. himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he well, shot he used, it up at Malibu Wines. He and used to go to Comic Con and protest Jar Jar uh, with Jar Jar uh, stuff, and he used to protest stuff outside. What does he look George like? Does uh, he look like George? No, Lucas? no, no. He looks no. like Robert De Niro. And he actually, yeah. can you bring up? Uh, he does a good De Niro Josh Robert, He does Josh Robert Thompson impression. But you know, we'll he was also bit. the voice of the robot in Craig Ferguson on the Craig yes, Ferguson yes, show. Yes, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, he's great. He's actually been a, he's, a, he's been a fan of, of Schmoes. Can you put the videos yeah. up? I'd like to play a little bit. Oh, of his I've impression. seen this homeboy. He's good. He's really good. Let's see which. Put Josh Robert Thompson. I still think Jamie Morgan Costa Freeman. is the best impressionist. I do it. too, because oh Jamie God. Costa doesn't consider himself an impressionist. He or, just oh, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. It's okay. No, but yeah, no. But he's, he's whew, yeah. He's he, he just becomes the person. Yeah. He, there's a difference. But you can see Josh it. Robert Thompson does it too. I think that's the thing what he does with like George Lucas. I think him and Jamie are really good friends. By the way. Uh, so so, a, sorry, who, uh, Cody. Go back real quick. Oh, you want? Oh, yeah, it's the uh, it's that one. Amazing Morgan Freeman impression plus three others. Play that one. That's the, this. And just if you can blow it up, please. Yeah, he's really good. This guy, and he's and yeah, he's been a fan of Schmoes for a while. I yeah. wanted to get him on the show. Hi, I'm Josh Robert Thompson, and I'm a voice actor. Now you may have heard my voice before on the Howard Stern show as fake Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. or you might even have seen me on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. He does a great Arnold. Today yeah. I'm going to give you an example of some of the voices that I can better do. than me. So sometimes you know you might hear me talking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. A lot of people think that when you talk like Arnold, you have to go, but you idiot! Arnold doesn't talk like that. That's not an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. That's a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Maria, where the hell are my stogies? And, um, uh, you know, maybe I talk like this, you know? Oh, my God. I look like, um, I look like maybe I just ate a lemon or something, you know? I got bad gas. <laughs> huh? You talking to me? Huh? I'll break your legs. I'll break your legs, wow. put them back together, and I'll break them again. <laughs> you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, Sly. You're like 60 some years old. I mean, how, how were you able to, you know, do that new Rambo movie? It's, it's two things. Have you heard his Morgan Number Freeman? One, you gotta no. believe wait, yourself. Just wait. It's very important. Number two, take a lot of steroids. And sometimes I might uh, bring my voice down like this, and all <coughs> I'll start to talk like Morgan Freeman, and Morgan will talk like that, and oh, he could talk about anything really, make it an interesting topic. Uh, like to talk about this carpet, for example. Oh, that carpet. <laughs> the way it goes from wall to wall. <laughs> Just doing what it does. Multiple colors. And I walk on you, sweet carpet. <laughs> you keep my feet padded when they're bare. And, oh, I might stain you from time to time, but uh, oh, that's all right. <laughs> Always be a carpet to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we done here. Wow, ridiculous. It's so good. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. excellent. He's excellent. Oh he God, did. Crazy. He did. And you know what? He had one. I think he probably wasn't confident enough with it because he took it down. He did a great Robert Downey Jr. And I don't think he liked it because he took it down. Oh. And it, it was it was really wow, good. He is excellent. And his yeah. Jeff Goldblum is. Bonkers good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. moly. Yeah. yeah. And then is George Lucas. So obviously, it's As Lucas fantastic. is like his go-to. I have like, like five voices I can do for all of the people. Like that, I, like if, if, sound if you same? sound, no. if you are like anywhere close to Jewish grandmother, it's the same oh, yeah. voice same for one, right? everything. Right, 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 yeah. If you're a dude, I have one voice. What's the dude voice? Go. It's a dude. He's a I, dude. I, oh, okay. dude. Yeah. This is what all I, dudes sound like. I, I have to dude. tell you that I think mm. that if you worked on it, you could probably get Emily Blunt down. Really? Yeah, I think. Yeah. I've heard um, Winona Ryder and Demi Moore. Those are the two people that Moore, people will say that yeah, I sound like sure. sometimes. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so he's he's phenomenal. That guy. I wanted to get him. Maybe. Can we try yeah, next well, week? I, yeah, I'm on an email chain with him. Yeah, actually, try, recently. Tell him. To... Ask him because he, like he said he and I have been trying to. He, come, he switched me out schmoes a while ago. Yeah. I'd like to get because Jamie Costa is done. With uh, with his Obi Wan Kenobi short film, they just wrapped. I auditioned for that. Did you really? Yeah. 
Oh, shit. Oh, I for was who? not cast, but oh, uh, I, I don't know if I can tell you because oh, I don't know man. if they've announced uh, who's in it. Well, you should have told yeah, me. I would have given you, give you, 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 give you a better word. Finn. He reached out to me directly. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it was okay. great. Um, I'm, uh, the sides were that I read were excellent. It's going to be good. He, I think he, it's he was, be really he was good. talking to me about it for a long time. At one point, I was going to try to come out and help, but it was just it just I didn't have the time to do it. Yeah, I um, think it's going to be excellent. It looks I'm really great. excited for it. If I, he, I, I'm not going to reveal anything that he told me, but there's some stuff that are going to blow people's minds when they see what they got in this movie. That's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. He's, yeah, he's, that's wild. I love crazy I think, talented. Yeah. Dude. I think yeah. he's awesome. Yeah, He's a sweetheart, too. Yeah. He's just a good, good he's human great. being. Uh, both those guys. So uh, I'm excited to see if we can you get... You said they're friends? How do you think that happened? Like one of them was in person or what's the word? What's the word that you use? Well, no, actors. I mean, actors. One of them was acting yeah. somebody. I and think somebody that this that... YouTube community of voice actors has like become this thing. Friends? Like Evan Fronte, who does the Not Tom Cruise. That's like, yeah. one of uh, Ben's good friends. Well, Evan Fronte. Yeah. Yeah. He was on Between the Sheets back in the day. Well, even Ross Mark really one. Who's Mark a, Mark he's yeah. a successful actor, yeah. but he's a great. I mean, his Tim Robbins, uh, not Tim Robbins, John C. Riley is yeah. ridiculous. Oh, so uh, good. It's really good. He he does a couple. I mean, and. Did you? Oh, speaking of, I'll show, I'll show one more impression here thing. Too. Do you guys see the? Uh, have you seen the Sopranos Mario Brothers thing? Did I, I think Is it with Max it. Cook? Y- yes. No. But Sa- Super Mario Brothers uh, Sopranos. So this but real thing quick, is the And I know best. he's not obviously well liked in any kind of community anymore, but Kevin Spacey was an incredible he impressionist. Was. Oh, that's yeah. it. First right. one on the bottom yeah. there. All right. So I want to show. McCoy is going to like this. This is this is a short film that. Um, yeah. Let's watch. Down to the docks. Oh man. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was a good day. You, me, the ocean breeze, not a care in the world. We did those things because I trusted you, Sergio. I, I know you do. Yeah. Then you want to explain to me what the fuck you got 16 cases of mushrooms in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I would never sell on your turf. I, never. Do not mind. I'm telling you, please. Please, Mark. Don't fucking lie to us, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta believe me. It's like I said, I, I, I was uptown, and I was getting a meat delivery, and I, I, there was a back order, so I was able to go home early, and, and, and they, they were just there. Meat delivery? You believe this guy? He was collecting product from those New York fucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is a whole, yeah. it's a whole thing, oh, and, and Max, it's it's great. Max Cook is no joke. Max Cook is yeah. no joke. Max, the, the Sopranos Christmas you sent me oh, with like, yeah. him and Pacino. Oh my it's god, it's Pacino. So it's Busey. Yeah. It, his Busey it blows mine out of it, out he? of the water. He's a guy. He, I, Ellis and I found him on YouTube. It's for, Cook, not Coke. No, it's it's K O C H is how it's uh, yeah. spelled, but it's actually pronounced Cook. Cook. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, and he, yeah, he does a Silvio. Yeah. He does he he does all he just all those old Sopranos characters. He, he does them all, and he did yeah. one with him and. Did and you met him before? Many times, oh. yeah. And he's a friend of mine now. So we, when we used to do the Schmoes No Live show, um, this was way before Schmo No. We would do at Room Five. There was like eighty people, and like Cristalia and Eliza and Renazisi would perform all the time. But then we did like a karaoke contest. K Mulligan won it like twice, yeah. but. But the judges were Dalia and uh, Max Cook as Busey, which was yeah, this this big blonde wig and his teeth were all jacked out. Uh, yeah, Max Cook is is out of control. Yeah. I'd like to have Max Cook, Robert uh, Thompson, and Josh, uh, Robert Thompson. Josh Robert Thompson, excuse me, and uh, and Jamie Costa all in here together, yeah. and have a whole array of of characters. Man, be it's amazing. Like his Morgan Freeman bonkers. So good. Yeah. Who, what's your guys' best one? Well, I don't think I have one. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, know. like I do the De Niro face, but the only way I would. Say I also did the Steve Carell face in Foxcatcher. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember <laughs> I was doing that a lot. Nice. Do you remember creepy. when uh, JT posted that picture of all of us doing our best De Niro face? It, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't live that down for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, look, it's ten thirty. We're gonna move on here. Get some to some news stories. We do have a, a, a big announcement here at eleven thirty that we're going to uh, announce. <laughs> and it'll happen after we do the review of Terminator that Roxy. So thank you, Cody. That'll happen at eleven thirty. You didn't see it yet, though. I Terminator. didn't see it yet. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go tomorrow after I, we shoot Jedi Council. I'm going to go pop over to the theater and, and, and go see it. You welcome to come if you want. Um, uh, I'm not actually not on the show tomorrow. Oh, you're not. No. Okay. Uh, you're gonna be uh, a dick about it. Sorry. Uh, yes. Mm. I've been having some back troubles Uh-oh. and Ben's surgery freaked me out. Oh, no. So I'm going to go get a check. That's out. probably smart. Yeah. I wouldn't be freaked out because he was unable to walk. Yeah. Like you definitely right. don't. But, yeah. He's and I hope he's listening. He's 
a fucking lunatic. Oh, yeah. The, the guy is running around going to screening still, and he just got a surgery three days ago yeah, or four like or insane. last week or whatever it was. I know. I know. Uh, He's a I lunatic. know. I know. Yeah. I, he was get, like literally unable to move. And it no. was going to the before and during and after. It's great. He says to me the other day, he's like, are you going to see Terminator? I'm like, no, and neither should you. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't. What, what <laughs> you are you doing? Dumb idiot. He's yeah, like, no, ah, he's I need walking a... and stuff now. Yeah. Crazy. I know. He like went to the grocery store too. I'm like, I how know. are you carrying all that yeah. stuff? Stop yeah. it. And the, the doctor said to him, like, you get the surgery once, it's easy. You get it twice, it's very difficult yeah. because of the scar tissue builds up. R- like, rest. you do not. Yeah. It's like Tiger Woods. He had the same surgery like three times before they did the spinal fusion. I hate to do this, but I'm going to do it. Tweet at Ben. Bateman and tell him to rest and rest. stay home. Yeah. yeah. He's like not <laughs> capable. No. Well, he's like, I just took a month off. And I'm like, yeah, but you just had the surgery. Yeah. You took a month You, you took a month before, before, before the, the surgery. surgery. Like, because you were laying around. You were laying around. Yeah. 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 You oh. got a, it's, it's, he just got the surgery. I know. It's crazy. I know. If you know that if we would have if we would have let him go into Orlando, he would have found a way. The doctor, I said, I want to know verbatim what happened. The doctor said, absolutely zero percent can you get on a plane. Because number one, right. the altitude. Like, this right. will be a yes. huge, yeah, massive yeah. problem. Yeah. In, under no circumstances. Ben was like, yeah, but what if? I, it's like, sh- no. 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 He, he no. said, no, under no circumstances. Okay, I'm glad that's not at that point. Uh, anyway, it's, yeah, he's the guy's. I was like, what are you going to do when you're in the air and you need to get off the plane? Yeah. Before before we move Parachute. on to news. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been trying to watch this documentary for like a a month now, but I watched the Diego Maradona documentary. It's on HBO. I can't recommend this highly enough. Like it left me in pieces. Why haven't what I? Why haven't I heard people talking about this? I at don't all know. Then? It's uh, Diego Maradona, the famous soccer player from Argentina. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know really anything about his career because he was playing when I was like five, six, seven years old. Roku was uh, what thirty at the time. He yeah, seen him. Yeah, yeah, he was there. Um, so I, I, the this team. is total ignorance. Is this the guy that they turned on and killed after he missed? Uh... No, no, no. That was Tale of Two Escobars, and that was in Colombia. Oh, oh. This is in uh, Argentina, but then he played his professional soccer in Italy. It's a two-hour documentary. It's probably one of the best documentaries I've ever seen, and I, I know I'm like partial to sports documentaries. But that, like one of the reasons I couldn't sleep last night because I just kept thinking of like Diego Maradona and what he went through. Um, and basically, if you're what, like, what is his brief story? Well, so he's he basically was. I mean, the greatest player in the history of Argentina, which is a soccer mad country, right? Um, Lionel Messi never brought the country a World Cup. Uh, Diego Maradona won one, and then he lost in a final. So he went to two finals as a soccer player, which is again is very very difficult even back then. And he's famous for this what they call the hand of God gold because he's playing against England, and the English people are I'm sure freaking out right now. But he clearly got a handball, but got away with it and went in the goal. And then he scored another goal, and Argentina beat England in a quarterfinal, and that was like they thought that was the greatest English team to ever play, whatever the case may be. And then he played in Italy, and they basically turned him into a god mm. because he brought the team in Napoli of an Italian league title, something they never even touched right. before. He could never go anywhere. Everywhere he went, he was just mobbed by people. In his soccer mad country, he was mobbed. And then in Italy, like another Elvis. soccer. I mean, it was beyond Elvis. It was like Elvis times a billion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everywhere he went, he couldn't leave his apartment. Uh, and then he became addicted to cocaine. Mm. And he was basically. Um, Involved with the Camorra, which is basically the organized crime in Napoli. And uh, there's an amazing show on uh, Sundance Channel that I haven't seen a new season of. And it only had two seasons called Camorra. Uh, and it, like, it, this story is, like, emotionally draining. I mean, he, he was the god of this of this city and the god of a country. And then everything just came f- Tumbling, tumbling couldn't handle, down. He so just couldn't handle the pressure. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, crazy. It's a really interesting. It's, okay. it's an incredible documentary. Yeah, really, that's really a lot. Is. I mean, that's a lot to put on somebody. I mean, yeah. human beings. I, I have know. such a hard time with stories like that, or any kind of like addiction related yeah. stories. It just there was a guy at the gym yesterday who um, OD'd on heroin at the gym while you were there, and all the cops came and everybody was like, "Look, look!" What? And I was like, look, look. "And I was like, this is like horrifically sad." Yeah. I mean, this is not a look, look. I'm, he he just, he. Uh, hopefully, yeah. he was okay. They rushed him out. I don't know, but like, he that's... was doing heroin at the gym, or wow. oh, oh shit. lord, were mm-hmm. you at that twenty four hour in West Hollywood? I was at LA Fitness. Oh, Jeez. Um, it, but to me, like, those are not it. You have a you have a serious problem. Yeah, you have a serious problem. That's yeah. not like a look. Look, holy crap! Isn't that no, crazy? No, people are it's desensitized like, to yeah, like shit. It's, it, it's, 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 the, it's the society in Just general. Man. Today, yeah. thirty four bodies were found in a tank somewhere. Let's, let's, uh, let's move away from that. I, I, yeah. I woke up to that yeah. news I, and it's like, I'm what just the saying, fuck like, is wrong? With we are so dis- every day. There's another. There's I wake up yeah. and there's another something, and so everybody like, look, look. I was like. 
I am crushed for this guy right. that came to the gym and, and embarrassed, and, embarrassing for him too. And shut yeah, up yeah. at the gym because clearly he could not, he could not not do that. Right. Yeah. It's not like he was like, you know what? I think no, it would be a really right. fun thing to at, do today. At that, at that point, it's survival yeah. for him. Yeah. Yes. Because if he's just stopped, if, if, I mean, if you're if you're doing heroin at the gym, it's because you can't stop. And if right. if you if you stop, it means you go through with withdrawals and it's a sickness. And, right. and so it's just the it's whole fucked thing. Up, man. It, yeah. Yeah. The, um, so the cocaine store, like yeah. I, those kind of things where you can't. I. Just, I feel crushed for those yeah, people. Totally. I Got watched it. Sesame Street yesterday. Um, <laughs> Have you started. finished El Camino yet? Are you kidding me? I think it would be the first thing I talked about. Like, Dude, so this, let me tell you. Let me okay. tell you because this is this is. I did think about this last night. I thought this is really because I'm still coming off of the East Coast time. Yeah. And the f- I will say, jet lag wise, it's yeah. really easy to fly east. It's harder to fly it's back. It's harder west. to fly mm-hmm. back. Yeah. So, but. The way that it's been working lately is that the 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 oldest she she gets ready she stops in the shower she just sits down reads a book waits to, to, for the younger one to pass out the younger one takes longer now it doesn't pass out till like eight thirty eight forty five wife's in there go to sleep go to sleep the whole thing so at that time I have a choice I can sit on the couch try to fire up a couple more minutes of it or I can just lay my fucking head down mm-hmm. and get some rest I have opted to do that yeah that's I have been doing that yeah. the last because I because I because I'm thinking about this show. To be mm-hmm. honest, because in the morning, if I I have seen myself on the nights where I've tried to push myself and stay up till, get it, guys, wait for this, Warrior, <laughs> eleven o'clock, <laughs> right? And I do the eleven o'clock, Warrior. eleven fifteen, and then I'm just like, someone Uh-oh. says a joke, it goes over my head. I'm not, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not. You call mom, mom's a strip club. I just call mom, I'm a strip club. <laughs> I'm just not. No, last night see, I called it a strip club because I was sharp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but I, yeah. So it's I have to take, I got to take that. Uh, you know, the rest. It's all the other reason. I've missed two screenings this week, so I'm gonna get back into the screenings. I'm gonna do all that, but uh, what yeah. was the other one that you missed? Uh, well, I was gonna see The Irishman on Thursday. Oh, oh no! Well, Maleficent was last week. I missed that one. Yeah. Then I missed uh, I missed Terminator. Wouldn't exactly say you missed it, Christian. You missed what? Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> Maleficent. Oh, missed it. Yeah. Well, no, well, right, really. right. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, no, Jojo Rabbit. I took a chance not. Uh, I took a choice not to see it because I figured the screener is gonna be coming soon for that one. And you missed it. Well, but I took a choice. Anyway, oh, yes, the other I missed. Not? The, yeah, uh, but and Just then the Irishman. I was supposed to go to the premiere, uh, and I, and this is the silly thing. It's it, it 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 was a very nice invite, and I was glad that I got it. And I and I was going to take Dagnino with me, so I said, "Here's my guest." And they said, "Well, we're not accommodating guests." Mm-hmm. And I wrote back. I said, "I'd rather go to one of the screenings because I'm not going to show up to the premiere by myself. Right. Like, yeah. it, it's just weird. I don't like doing I, that." I, I said, "I said thank you so much." I was like, "I just don't." And I just wrote, "I don't want to fly solo to the premiere." Mm-hmm. Is what I said. And they were super cool about it, and yeah. then they gave it away. And I said, "If anything changes, let me know." But I was. It's one thing to show up with Dagnino and we're hanging out and maybe have a Saul type story where we're chilling with De Niro and Pacino, but to just be weirdly walking around there by myself, like oh, hi. taking creepy pictures. I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. So, it's but, all right, but Spider. then the problem was because he did that, the screenings. Guess when the screenings were for the Irishman? <laughs> Tonight, yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah. Missed yeah. them both. Oh, yeah. Missed them both. But that's okay. That's coming on Netflix pretty soon. I uh, I totally forgot. I mean, we had Larry in here and he was telling amazing stories, but I totally forgot to ask, and it was like. On the next thing was he was Carl in Billy Madison. Like, sure good to was. see you, Carl. Oh, Thank shit, you. Sure and he's the one that Carl. takes over the Madison the Empire. Oh, and he does, shit. He How does do the know? laugh like that. <laughs> I totally, as soon as I posted it, my buddy was oh, the first comment. He says, good to see you, Carl. And I was like, son of a bitch. Oh, we forgot all about that, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. There was, he's been so much shit. I know. I thought it was really fascinating how self-aware he was of, of yeah. a person. Yeah. Like, he kept yeah. talking about how he has an attitude problem. And I was wondering... Anger problem, right? Oh, no, attitude, attitude, attitude problem. problem. Right, 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 and right, I kept right. thinking, like, I wonder where his career would be. Like, he has no representation. And I watched an interview with him about four years ago that talked about how he hadn't had representation for two years. So he must have not... He must not have had representation for right. the last at least six years right. yeah like i wonder i wonder where Why? he would be and yeah, it's true. yeah do you know who he reminds As a me character of character actor though you figure like he because he has such a recognizable face like let's get that guy yeah, i think that's what happened yeah, for but, right. the Bath. attitude problem i wonder right. i just wonder I, and I like agree. why wasn't he cast as kramer he reminds yeah. me of, i kept looking at him thinking about harry dean stanton when yes. he was in here yeah. I kept thinking about it especially yeah. in lucky Mm-hmm. Think about that. Yeah, uh, let's get into some too. news here because we should hit the news. Then we're going to do the, the the Terminator Dark Fate review. Roxy will anyway at uh, at eleven o'clock, and then we have a big announcement at eleven twenty five or so. So, uh, yeah. all right, let's all right. let's get into it. Well, do you want to talk? <laughs> I, I, What's I, wrong? You want more Scorsese, uh, uh, Marvel stuff? Let's do it. No, no, someone someone wrote God. to me yesterday on uh, on a no, website, no, just like no, saying like. No. 
And I thought it was pretty yeah. clear that I think that these directors yeah. have the right to say whatever the fuck they want to say. They're legends. No, they're... you said they do not have the right. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> it does, that right. But it's just I just don't understand. I mean, I, I'm never going to understand the internet. But but what I what I had said was that these guys, Scorsese, Coppola, whoever, they come from a different school. They should be able to say whatever they want to say. You, it's your choice whether you want to agree with them or not agree with them. They're legends. They have the right to do that. Some post yesterday. I posted a thing. I did a Star Wars video yesterday. And that's all I posted. It was a Star Wars video. Some guy goes, I just want to let you know. I hope you see this. <laughs> Make sure oh that boy. you're not bullying these directors and that it leads to some serious shit. If you know, it's touched on by suicide and all this stuff. And I'm like, what, what what are we talking about? Like what, what are we? Ta- it's like escalated they quickly. Should, it, that's what that's what the post said. It was on a Star Wars chat, Jeez. and it's like it's like what is what's going on? Uh, everybody mean, can be able to say you can say you don't have to agree with anything that some people are saying. It's free speech. You can say whatever the fuck you want. If you want to say that ev- everybody who makes who watches Marvel movies are morons, or everyone who watches DC movies are morons, you're allowed to say it. You're wrong, but you're allowed to say whatever the fuck you want. And those directors want to say that, then. Let yeah. him say it. Have Let you me... seen the shirt going around right now? It's the Marvel logo, but written Martin Scorsese. And I, <laughs> I think that's, that's it's funny. It's funny. And yeah. It's, yeah, I just, I mean, people really, agendas, man. In my defense, though, I hope that my bullying worked for Francis Ford Coppola to never wear a beret again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what the guy was talking about. That. Yeah, I, I don't know. know. I love his wine. Though? He's got what, great wine. What would you do though, honestly? Because this is this is the this is the this, it's very similar, and I say this lovingly. Yeah. This is very similar to those people who, uh, when they write when they're typing, and they're all like, yeah yeah hi love two finger toots over here, right? Yeah. And then you see him, and they go hi. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. If Francis Ford Coppola walked in with that fucking beret, you would take a picture with him. I would love shake your his beret. Hand. Yeah, Hold you on. would love the beret. Can I take a picture with Here's the beret? The Can it's I... after about 15 minutes of look, the interview. Look. Like if he did 13, if he did like 30 minutes with us here on Collider Live, right? Yeah. Like huge fan. Let's talk about it. And then I'd be like, what's up with the fucking beret? You're nuts. You would I say think that. I'd say it. You would I don't say think that. you'd say fucking, but yeah. I think so, you would say it. Hey, you'd Frankie, say you, what's up with you the would beret? smile and you say, I got to ask you about your beret. Yes, totally. I think he would throw himself. I think he would throw himself at the feet of, of Coppola metaphorically and say, because I I, I, uh, I bullied you a little bit. I want you to lose the beret. Would and you then, lose the beret for me? I could see you do yeah. it. Like, I would second, ask it in a funny way. The second Coppola s- just turned serious on you, you would take a shit in All your right, pants. well, you got me there, Frank. <laughs> yep. <All right. laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. He just I met swirls Francis his wine looking yeah. at you. Yeah. I met Coppola. Does he go by Frank? Well, I'd call yeah, him Frankie, uh, Frankie C. Oh, Frankie C. I met him. Know? I met him once. Uh, this oh, is when I first. Good, thank you. When I, and it wasn't. It wasn't one of these things. Too. It wasn't. Um, I wasn't working with him. Yeah. I was like working at, a, at an assistant desk. Sure. But he came in. And he's like, and he introduced himself. And I'm just like. All he said was hello, and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, so so I, I, I'm going gonna, gonna to push back on the fact that if he was sitting across you, you were yeah. going to ask him about his fucking Was he wearing a beret thing. when you saw him? No, I don't believe it's he like, was. Maybe he was. I don't remember. I, I rarely get starstruck or like intimidated by anybody, and I always like to have a good effing time in yeah. the interview. So like, if he if it was a very serious interview and it was like kind of coming like, eh, maybe don't ask him about the beret. But if he's having a good time, like, all right, Frankie, come on. Right. What's yeah. up with the beret? I could see that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I still. I mean, he does. He makes a great watch. You know, give he, it to I you. think he rocks the bray, and he rocks the scarf too. Yeah, I give him the scarf because Riley wears a scarf. But yeah. the bray is. You don't like the bray. Nah. I like the bray. I'm gonna wear a beret and a scarf for <laughs> you. You, gonna be, you, you should, should be Coppola. Be Coppola for, for you go. To, you go to enough of these fucking vineyards. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> vineyards. <laughs> vineyards. <laughs> you go to the vineyards. What am I Russian now? No, you always go to the vineyards. Like, no, I always why? call it. This weekend we go to the vineyards. My, my brother, we're going go to the vineyards. This is they should be called vineyards now. No, I know because because uh, you're yeah, winning if you're yeah, at a vineyard. Well, that's wine. Wine. That's why. That's why we used to call it the vineyards. Wine yard. You go into the vineyards today. I am. It's called you, a wine yard. Yes. Drink the wine. Put on the beret. Hey. <laughs> we put berets on. We put drink it, wine. Put we, we, we eat here's, cheese. Here's it's the great. part, though. Is French are known for their berets, right? French yeah. are known for wine. Francis Ford Coppola, Italian, yeah. makes Italian wines. Well, I mean, who knows? So they're all the wines. He made the Godfather. You can wear anyway. whatever the fuck he wants it, to wear. Okay. But I'm just saying, hey, why don't you wear one of those sweet Italian man hats? You know yeah. the one I'm talking about? The blue one with the white stripes and the yeah. little boat guy? Well, look, this, this begs the next question. Who's talking shit about Marvel now? No, uh, <laughs> Fabro was basically saying exactly oh. what 
all of us are saying. Uh, he says that Scorsese and Coppola are my heroes, and they have earned the right to express their opinions. Right. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if they didn't carve the way. They served as a source of inspiration. You can go all the way back to Swingers. Before adding, they can express whatever opinion they like. So, and, yeah. and now people are smart choice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Smart choice. Queen's kid, by the way. Uh, smart choice for him to do that. That's what he, And... What does it mean? What is James Gunn and, and all these guys that are making these movies? Does it real? Is it going to hurt business that Scorsese and Coppola are talking about your movie? It isn't because it's not going to hurt the fan base that's seeing it. All it's, it's going to do is fire up the people who already have a, a bias against any of these movies. And and that's it's 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 not just it's if you ask them about Star Wars and you ask them about. DC, they're gonna say the same thing, kids. I'm just, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's the same uh, Scorsese and uh, Coppola against Marvel. If they were like, no, we love DC, right? <laughs> no, yeah. no oh, it, that, that would be hysterical. You know, Star Wars, that's that's cinema. The, the stuff, that's, that's cinema. That's, that's cinema. But uh, no, so it, specifically it's, it's Marvel the, is all we were yeah, talking about. Yeah, it's just because about. Marvel yeah. is the one that's right now is dominating the box office. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you pull any? Did you get that, uh, Cody? That thing I I, I, tr- I tagged you on Twitter. Yeah, I, saw it. I put it in yeah. there. You, me, let's watch. Minutes, let's watch on. the cactus thing because I. Uh, Wait, and did you great. See, did you see the backyard blowing up yet? I have them I both in that. the. Uh, Dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Both. They're, they're both, both in there. Right, we'll I think you'll actually like. I think you'll like. Somebody get injured or no? No. No. One of them. In one of them. In one of them. Do this. Do this. Which one are you going to show? Let's see which one first, and then if we can please. Okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right, I so we blow this up. Yet. You haven't seen this yet? No, oh, this is amazing. That's uh, fine. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but the, this this scream is better than yours, by oh, the way. Yeah. Way better than yours. Two people with cactuses. Looks like it could be a de- relative money. of Cody Hall. Yeah. yeah now that guy looks <laughs> scared. Hey guys, here it is. This is the it's always Australian. Yeah. Australian. Yeah. Here they go. They're about to. No. They're going to grab a cactus. One, two. What's the guy on the right, Makuga? <laughs> Is it stuck? No, he's trying to rip it off. Yeah, he's stuck. Are you guys fucking kidding? <laughs> what? Look at his hand. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, you'll see it. Oh, 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 oh. You'll see. You'll see it in a second. Look. Oh! <laughs> Who are crazy? you? Idiots? You're a dummy! <laughs> oh, so, that scream. I Look at do not know where to begin. Look at that. Do you have to pluck them out? Yeah, you gotta pluck them out. <laughs> yes, it uh, oh, it's not oh, good. Fuck. This is this is freaking unbelievable. It's always man. the Australians, they're fucking yeah, out of their minds. Yeah, they're crazy people. Uh, all right, go go back. All right, next Roxy, one. you'll like this next one. I promise. Next one you'll like. I can't believe you guys thought I'd like that. <laughs> 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 Great scream! It really it's really good. Okay, watch. So here's really this, here's is. this other one. This is the uh, this is the, someone trying to get a gopher. Watch, watch Roxy. Watch, you like, like this one. She's trying to get a gopher. Watch the Don't dogs. Worry, the dogs. The are, dogs are fine. Their dogs, dogs are, fine. are fine. Dogs are fine. But watch. I don't this, know where this is. This has got to be Australia. Yeah, right. Watch. So the guy's trying to get these gophers out. <laughs> you see this? You've Australia. seen this? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So watch Roxy. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen here, Roxy? Light it on fire. Yeah, you're close. He's pretty close. <laughs> I was watching. So, I got such a big kick it, out it's of this. Am, it's amazing because the dogs. Are, wait, here it is. Watch. <laughs> the guy blew up his whole backyard. The dogs are fine. <laughs> the dogs, the dogs are, are fine. fine. Uh, that's the first thing I noticed too. I'm gonna make sure the dogs are okay. Dogs got the oh, fuck yeah. out of dodge the yeah. second it blew up. Dogs know. Yeah. Watch his. How did he botch this so bad? <laughs> I, I mean, how does he not know he's gonna blow up his entire backyard? Was there a dynamite under it's there? It's gotta be. He blew up his entire backyard. Yeah. What? He what? was putting some sort of yeah. explosive look down at the, Like look the, at the dog. Maybe, or the but watch the dog, the dog on the right. He gets out so fast. Do- watch the dog on the right. On the left, you mean? No, the right. The right. Yeah, watch right how here. fast he gets out. Because by the time is he's gone, by the time all the, sh- the rubble comes back. Watch. How could he? Watch. Look. Dog's gone. Wow. Look, look how fast he got out of there. How could he let the dogs be there while I he was don't. doing it? I don't think he realized how much that was going <laughs> to blow up. And the question, I bet you, just like Caddyshack, that thing got away. Yes. <laughs> no chance he blew up that oh, gopher. That gopher is on the next lot doing this. Yeah, with that guy. Yeah, the <laughs> entire backyard. Look at the entire backyard blows up. What his the tile over here? What? Yeah, look, yeah, he almost he almost sinks into the ground. It's amazing. His foundation of his home. Has and that to be happened. Effective. It happened this year, dude. This <laughs> so I mean, holy shit, man! That Dude, I wasn't that happened last okay. week. Oh no, yeah, right. that's thousands of dollars. Okay, blow up your backyard. I'm sorry, Roxy, to do this to you, and I, I, I'm not like poking fun or anything like that. But as the person in here with like a wife, a wife, and a fiance, mm. 
I, you can sorry. You could sorry. you could have said that, and no one would even thought of that. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. As as someone who hasn't found love. <laughs> I'm yeah. so sorry. I really am. As somebody who's horribly rude, alone. I'm and sorry. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm very sorry. Should we get okay. you a cat or something? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> so you can see him. I think he like leans in right here, and he's yeah, like, yeah. "Han." Yeah. I just blew up the backyard. <laughs> blew up the backyard. <laughs> Let's go to the vineyard. And then what? You think my Amanda would come out and be like, the fuck? Like, yeah. <laughs> the dogs are my favorite part about this. I wish thing. we had. I wish we had a sound on the video. I know the dogs are my favorite part. What do you think the dogs are thinking? They don't know what's going on, yeah. and then they hear boom, like, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah, they're thinking, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah. And then that one that comes out of his house goes, "You dumb motherfucker! Yeah, you, yeah. What are you doing, you idiot? I was just <laughs> resting. Like he's like that dog Dude. is gone." He, he blows up. The other up. one went around like, the side. It's still on fire right there. Unbelievable. Uh, what do so you guys good. think he was trying to do? Blow, Blow up gopher. the gopher. Because and what? He's like, that's all scare him. What? The gopher's been eating up so his lawn. His, that's the thing. The gopher's been eating up his ship. And, his, yeah, and he just blew up the lawn. Yeah. But how do you not think dynamite's going to blow up your lawn? Your yard. It's, it's some, my favorite is, is the tag on this thing. Is that this guy went to the Yosemite Sam <laughs> school <laughs> of, of, of getting rid of gophers, yeah. which, is, which is great. Um, anyway. Uh, all right. We got any other uh, stories besides yeah, guy yeah, blowing so up his guess, backyard? Guess who just... <laughs> Weighed in on the Scorsese Coppola oh, thing. Oh. Bob Iger. Oh. What did he say? <laughs> just Iger. now? This just broke. Oh, no. Bob, what's Bob Iger's thoughts? Okay, well, initially... <laughs> he fires back at Scorsese. In the, case, no. in the case, as reported by Fast Company, Iger weighed in on the never-ending conversation while initially complimenting Scorsese and Coppola as the films they made and the crap they put into it. Iger wasn't about Here, let to let see. them slide. This is yeah, what he says. He, it. Says, he says, I'm puzzled by it. If they want to bitch about movies, it's certainly their right. Wow. It seems so disrespectful to all the people who work on those films films who are working just as hard as the people who are working on their films and are putting their creative souls on the line just like they are. Uh, can you go up a little bit more, guys? Uh, are you telling me that Ryan Coogler making Black Panther is doing something that somehow or another is less than anything Marty Scorsese or Francis Ford Coppola have ever done on their movies? Come on. G- good good shot. Good shot back from Iger. Iger? There's a reason Iger's there's a reason he's the man. He's the band. And he's, he's and the there's boss. A, yeah, is it because, yeah, well, because when you go back... He just put them in a really bad position. Because of Coogler. Yeah. Of, because, but, but, but it's a good point to make. And not only because he's an African-American, but... He's basically but, saying, come for the black people. You want to? <laughs> like, <laughs> but but it is, though. Because, well, but, but, <laughs> but, if you think, but if you think about it, that movie, Black Panther, besides being nominated for awards and all yeah. that... It was. It meant a lot to a lot Absolutely. of people. Absolutely, and he's saying and that's what he's saying. Come, what, are you, on, what, what, are you, what are you saying? How yeah. are you going to respond to that? And but this is. It goes back to. A, I hope they don't okay. respond to that because now I don't want to see Marty get, get himself in trouble. In trouble. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna. I'm, here's a hot take. Oh, be okay. careful. Uh, no, no, no. It's not about All black right. people or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> it's oh, not. God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Let's be honest about Martin Scorsese's movies here for a second. Okay. Okay. Don't sit. Don't There's don't. a lot of them that just glorify mob violence. Goodfellas glorifies mob violence. See, he would uh, he would argue he would argue against it. Okay. He would argue against that. Casino glorifies also mob violence. Also, can argue against it the same way the Wolf of Wall Street. You can argue okay. against it. Mm-hmm. Wolf of Wall Street you glorifies think... obnoxiously terrible behavior. But it's what it's the concept. Think it's- I think glorification <laughs> means me. good guy endings, happy endings. Uh, that I don't think anybody leaves that movie. Sane people leave that movie th- wanting to be Christian, Henry Hill, or they, it, they all die, or they get go arrested, to jail, or, or yeah, become they, drug like, addicts. It's like all cautionary kind of like. Joe hey. Pesci gets buried in the in the desert. No, I agree with all of that. But what a lot of people, not us, yeah. not us, we have our heads. A lot of people take away from good, fe- like every cribs that you saw, every rapper, every rock star was like, this, I've the copy of Scarface on my thing. Same That's Joker. their inspiration. This is, but this is the same Joker argument. That, I, that it's, the per- dude, it's the individual watching it. Are you telling me, I guarantee you, young finance guys walk into Merrill Lynch every single day like, is it going to be like Wolf of Wall Street? I don't That's know. what they take away from the movie. I think, I don't know. I feel like, and obviously we're not going to spend time on this, yeah. but you guys know I did not sleep last night because of a very specific mm-hmm. situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anybody out there who knows about Cupcake, you'll know what I'm I'm talking about but the point is that bad people do bad things 
I do not think that it's like, well, I watched a movie about a bad person and now I'm going to go do this bad thing. That's just not, I just cannot fathom that that is why video games, movies, like bad, people do bad They're going to do bad shit. things. No, they might they get do, an extra kick in the what, ass by something, but, what but they're going to do. They're going right. to do bad. There, yeah. was, there was no movie that made somebody do, like people just do bad shit. No, I get Usually that. Usually it goes back to how they were raised. Okay, I get that. What I'm saying is the argument against this is that like Martin Scorsese's acting like he's the Pope. Like, that he has done so much good for the world and all this bullshit. Marvel movies do just as good. This, but I don't think that's accurate just from just his comments. He's just talking about comments. cinema. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he's, he, he made himself holier than now from his comments. I think that he's just saying... Every Martin Scorsese movie has the same plot line this. So he, does Marvel movies. Every movie has the same fucking plot line. Every single but one. That, Scorsese, a, it's hard to go there yeah. because he is so different. I mean, we're talking Last Temptation of Christ, Silence. We're talking yeah, he's The Aviator. Different. We're talking, I mean, all he's these different, different movies. Hugo. I mean, he's done different Movies, I, get, I get that. Yeah. I'm I'm saying I didn't say all. Yeah. I said a lot. Well, and his one, most you're, you're well known. Popular I didn't say ones. every. I didn't say every. I did not say every. You might have. Did I? <laughs> I, so. I, I was no. I. I remember like every fucking movie. Yeah, every yeah. fucking movie. No, I'm saying the plot line goes. I'm not saying that every movie glorified mob violence. Right. What I'm saying, saying is that a lot of yes, every plot line is the same in every movie ever, unless oh. it's like Inside Lou and Davis, which just ends and that's you know the dumbest movie of all time. That's fine that you feel that way. I don't. Yeah. I don't care that any of these people feel any of these right. ways. I think it's all fine. I just think it's epic that Foggy was like, or I mean, or Iger. Yeah. Iger was like. Come for us now. Yeah, well, what but, are you going to do? But, like, this, but this is the main thing, though, what Iger smart. did as the CEO. Besides, he's, he's a brilliant. He's, he's brilliant. He but should this, respond. It was his job to respond. He's protecting everyone that he works with. Mm-hmm. And he is the guy. He is the one that if he, his statement guy. and his statement when he and he's and this is also one of the things you see the power the power the real power. I'd like to people, point out also that I really like Martin Scorsese's I movies. know what you're trying I'm to just say. fucking <laughs> saying that. Okay, but wait—the powerful people, the real powerful people, the ones that stay in power—they—they they don't just yell and talk shit. It's like you don't hear from them for a while, and when they say something, it's impactful. These are powerful words. These are powerful wor- words off the back because he's protecting the people that he worked with. He's also saying he's not—he's not defending so much why the movies themselves are the are cinema. He's not addressing those comments what he's addressing is the disrespect to the people who work on those movies and the like passion it. and emotion that comes from directing like a, someone like a Ryan Coogler and what that meant to him and the people working on it and the actors on it that it is disrespectful and that even though these are legends that you got to be considerate of that stuff I think that's an accurate take to have um, but I also think it's like I said in the beginning of, of the show it is in Scorsese and Coppola's right I, to say whatever they want I think Scorsese probably Agrees with what he said in that yeah. second comment. Yeah, I just I think, think so he too. doesn't look at it as he looks at it as more of a movement than cinema. Like the word right. were, that he was always talking about was cinema, which I obviously do not agree with. But I right. think that that's all he was saying to him. It's not cinema, right? Which and I think is it's just a different time. And, it makes and, him a, what a jackrabbit. A jack wagon, but if Co- wagon. if Coppola didn't come out though, to they came Coppola from the same came. school. Coppola, Coppola came out to fight. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he came out to fight and did. He came out full Italian. Yeah, Scorsese. Scorsese was making comments, and Scorsese was had no like animosity whatsoever. He said, "Ah, you know, that's for me. That's not that's not cinema. I don't watch it. I don't like it." Because he's that guy. Yeah, he's just saying his thing. He's like having a conversation really fast. Right, despicable. Who wants some? Come on, Captain America, I'll punch your fucking face. He fixed my beret. Yeah, we go. He didn't go far enough. No, yeah. Coppola came he's out as sunny. He was yeah, sunny. He was, he was looking Jimmy for some shit. Khan yeah. coming out and throwing the trash can on the guy on the ground. But yeah, Iger's going to look for some shit back. It's interesting. It, it's going to go away like anything else, too, and they'll probably take pictures together. Is it going to go away? It keeps I know, happening. I know, I know, but it's, you, it's a story. You mentioned Joker earlier. Yeah. Uh, and again, <laughs> the, the fact that, and I haven't seen it yet, but uh, the fun, have, you seen, have you seen the video that was going around? I think Barstool posted it, and it said, we feel for the people of Bronx this time because like the entire world is posing as Joker on those stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's yeah. Like, yes. yeah, yeah I just see there's that. like nine different people doing Take, Instagram poses, uh, and there's a line yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, up. It's yeah. like Lombard yeah, Street. That's where they shot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah, you just, you just you kind of, got me so fucking hungry for pizza. Ooh. We got to go to that place. Oh, I know. Off the wagon or whatever. so good. So PJ Pizza Wagon Brooklyn. Yeah, Pizza Wagon Brooklyn. You're not going to like it. You don't like cheese. I like I like bread and sauce. They have a good Schwartz. garlic knot. They have a good garlic like knot. It. I saw there's they a do. garlic knot. You can get a garlic knot. So my buddy Dave. They have garlic knots. Yeah, yeah. they have garlic knot. So the real East Coasters. You Is know, cheese the, on that? No, no. But look, wow. Dave, Dave Gambino all the yeah. time. Uh, he and I 
go back and forth about the good pizzerias, and we we yeah, you know, it's, it's good. It, it does its trick. So I, we had gone, you and I, to the the Brooklyn place. And he goes, hey, I heard about this place. I go, go immediately. Yeah. He's like, is it that good? I go, go immediately. I was like, it's great. So he went and he's like, best pizza in, in LA, LA, hands down. Hands down. Mm. It's like it's, so it's, it's like legit New York pizza. Like Our, you, you, you would, it can hold, it. It okay. hold its own in New York. Our friends live about two blocks from the pizza wagon in Brooklyn. And we, I dropped off Amanda and she's like, where are you? I was like, ah, I couldn't find parking. I went down Did to the pizza go? wagon and oh, got wow. it and, it's, and ate it. It's so she good. was not in the mood for pizza. I was like, I'm in the neighborhood. I'm going you to pizza. You gotta wagon. go. Oh, you gotta go. It's really good. Yeah, it's a shame you don't like cheese. I like Wait. pizza. Oh, so yeah, they can do, probably do a sauce. You don't, really, don't like cheese. That's, that's pizza like, with sauce. I like, bar- sauce I like barbecue chicken. Oh. I like you know I'll load it with doesn't, meat, doesn't veggies, have, or whatever. Yeah. Does barbecue chicken have cheese on it? Well, I just say? get it with no cheese. No uh, cheese. Yeah. So you have to order a custom pie there, which I'm sure yeah. they would do for you. Yeah. Okay, uh, we got to break. When we get back from break, we'll go. We'll talk about some more news, and then we'll get Roxy's review of Terminator, and then 11:30, a uh, big announcement. Come on, don't leave before uh, we get to that announcement. Peace out. Cody, order a pizza. Can we get a Cody, can we get a pizza? Order a damn pizza. Cody! Hey guys, it's Perry here to let you know that Movie Talk is moving. We've had a great time in this 3 p.m. Pacific slot, but guess what? We want you to start your day with Collider Movie Talk, so we're moving. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a longer show with some brand new segments. So tune in starting Monday, September 16th, 9 a.m. Pacific. See you there. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashadi on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations. And I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Alex, order a pizza. hello there. I'm Ken Napsok, one of the hosts of Collider Jedi Council, and I'd like to invite you to listen to our show, watch our show. It's on every Thursday. It's on the Collider video channel, and it's also available in podcast form if you'd like to listen to our sweet voices. On Collider Jedi Council, me, Christian Harloff, and a bevy of pizza say, talk Star Wars. We celebrate Star Wars. We dig into the Star Wars news. We speculate everything about Star Wars including your questions. So join us on Collider Jedi Council. You're going to have a great time. What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, Cody, and you talk about pizza every right little now, thing that you. happened on the Blue Brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. 
Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. It's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Apple Podcasts, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars, episode nine's coming out. And then after episode nine, you got TV shows. So we're going to be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on, be real. Hi, I'm Amy Dallin, one of the hosts of Collider Heroes. And starting right now, you can catch our show Tuesday nights with a new Collider Heroes and a longer Collider Heroes podcast where Koi and I are going to talk your ears off. You already know that's coming. So make sure to go to YouTube, subscribe, and find us on the Collider Heroes podcast feed for all of that sweaty goodness. Hi, can I get an extra large pepperoni? The witching hour uh, is sausage, all over Collider right now. You can listen Garl- to Alex, that horror filled uh, podcast with you myself. Want garlic knots? Okay, we're going to get that. We talk all right. about Thank you. Witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared. Hopefully, you survive the Witching Hour. Very different times, they have changed. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Collider Live. And Cody and Alex just what ordered the pizza. Mean? It's 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 off it's off the books. Uh, um, did you guys really order pizza, or you just is it a bit? It was a running bit. No, all right. Yeah, that sounds good. I like I, wings. I, 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 no, I think that it would have been really great if you actually ordered pizza and then right towards the end of the show a pizza came. But you don't think that way, Cody. You just go for the fucking bit. I don't have money to just buy pizza, Christian. That's good buy point. for the show. Wings and tacos. Wings and tacos. Speaking of expensive, I like I'll tell you, and tacos. let me tell you something. Gas right now in LA is what uh, four it's bucks? It, yeah. No, two weeks ago it was six dollars. Yeah, well, it's, it's been like it's around four, four, five. four or five around this area. Four so. sixty one. The other, uh, I went yesterday. Well, it's not that in Florida. When I went to Florida, two sixty. What for gas? gas? And I look over, I go, what in the fuck? Our and tax structure brother, here is bonkers. It's not just that my brother made a good point. It's because it, the only you, there's no fucking subways. Everybody's driving everywhere. If there's so many people using gas, it's like, yeah. <laughs> in Florida, what, what are you doing? You're walking around in a swamp. Right. I have you a know. tiny car, tiny. Yeah. And it, seventy five dollars to fill my it's tank. It's crazy. Now. It's insane. What? It's crazy. Mine was like forty two. No uh, way. Forty two to fill up your tank. Yeah, really? Forty two. Yeah. All the way through. Yeah. Four oh five. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, got. Yesterday, I got... mine was sixty. I do have to do premium on oh. mine. You don't. Uh, you exaggerate yeah. all the time. <laughs> this, no, this I'm being serious on. It was six dollars yeah. the other day. Are you supposed to use premium on it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah. have. I, have, you, I got the Jeep. If it says to do it, you're supposed to do it, right? Or am I a sucker? I think, sucker. I think you're a sucker. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I asked the people there. They said it will last. It'll, it'll keep yeah. your car healthier. I own I mean, it, so I feel like yeah, I need should. to. If I was leasing it, I'd be like, I "Fuck own it. it! I own it! I own it!" Jump on it. it. So I, mean, I had a Honda Accord that I used the regular 87 on for 15 years. It had 195,000 miles on it. But did it say they use that? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, we we had covered a lot, but did we cover everything? Uh, we have some news that uh, Quentin Tarantino is going to put some new footage on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and re-release but not in the China. movie. Not in China. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So uh, China. over 1,000 theaters with never before footage is coming uh, in the next. When, is it, when do they say they're going to do this? Uh, no release date. See, I haven't seen this yet, so maybe with yeah. the new footage, I'll go and see it. You still haven't um, seen it? No. Wow. Hey, I was Al- waiting for a screener, man. Hey, Alex. Alex. Can you, can you guys get... Sure. first? If, please. What do you but, want? Sausage, you, pepperoni? Uh, mushroom. Can you get... Um, you. Sorry. You're a mushroom guy. Sometimes, but mm. I'm, cheese is my, is my favorite. But yeah. Can you get... See if Rogue is available... Um, and if we can get him headphones and a mic, I'd like to get him in here for the Terminator review also, so him and Roxy can can bounce off each other and talk about it a little bit. Um, if he's not available, then that's oh my fine. My God, I saw him at the screening. You saw him at screening. He was losing his mind. No. Yes. Yeah. But that's not what I was going to say. What? <laughs> what do you do? What did him he do? and Ben with this notes thing. Oh, oh, you saw spectacular. this. Spectacular. Uh, not the one here, but there, it came back up again. It's just unbelievable. Fish Wait, Fish it, yeah. it came back up again at the at the screening. When was the screening? After the uh, after the fight here. All right. 
Yeah. This is a this is a seemingly becoming a real thing. That they're that they're like they're, it's, isn't it funny though how those two were like the biggest rivals and now they're buddies again. They're buddies now. Now they're getting to the rival place again. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, what's that's what this whole it's thing like brothers is. fight. Right oh, now. oh, because they because they, the because notes. they wanted to borrow each other's notes and all that. Kind of, well, because there's still it's still a possibility. You never know that they could play each other. So it's so good. Yeah, I it's told good. I told Roka he's still the biggest heel ever, ever. and it's great. Yeah. Don't ever give him stump, something. Oh, there he is. Speaking of the devil, and the devil appears. Hello, John. Put on the headphones there, you filthy animal. Um, so what's this thing? You and Ben were, were fighting at the Terminator screening about no, notes? No, they weren't fighting at oh. the screening. It just continued. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you guys. Come on. Really want me to talk Come about on. this crap? What happened? It's not why we brought you in here. That's, oh. not, that's not why we brought you in. Well, yeah. I, I, like no. the, I like the we aspect. Yes. Well. Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. Lady. Uh, uh, is, is that worth what do you want to know? I don't know. Why were you guys arguing? Who, who ran it out? Roxy? Roxy. God damn it, Roxy. We've talked um, about it before. <laughs> uh, I, I she brought it up. Dissension in the ranks? I'll, I'll, Wait, in all fairness, no I didn't. No dissension. I'm I watching didn't. this happen in my stable. You didn't rat it out I'll in a bad way. Over. I've told you 15 times, Roka. Yeah, but I, you're I love painting this. it in a negative way, which it wasn't. Okay, well, what was it? Tell us. Right, here's the deal. So here's the deal. Ben, uh, ben, I was mad at the Five Club because the horsemen don't study together. So it's been frustrating to me because I think the reason we're, we weren't doing Sometimes well this year remember, is no, we yeah, no, no, there's no, we're not talking about anything. Ex- right, right. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying overall the yeah. year. I feel like sometimes we've taken some losses because we don't study like right. the five well, bears don't together. study together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you all have a great time. Yeah. So we're we. I just felt frustrated by it all. So then I went to Ben. I was like, Ben, we need to because Ben has been notorious, very private about his stuff and how yeah. he studies, and, and all respect to him. Cool. Uh, and I said, I, I, I'd love it if we could share some stuff, blah, blah, blah. So he sent me a couple of documents. I opened them up, and I was like, I can't make heads or tails of this. I can't use any of this. Ooh, and then, so I didn't, okay, even, I didn't even. I have to pause you, though, because this is so not fair. Uh-oh. This well, is not a fair description. I'm not done with it. Dude. No, 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 no. Of let that me part. Paint it. Of that let me, part. Let him finish Let me finish painting the, and it. you can do the amendments. Right. And then, so, then I the said. The amendments. To, and then I said to him, <laughs> I said to him, I'm going to. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll send you, like, I showed him the document that I built, the 470 sure. pages of questions Crazy. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and so I showed it to him. He's like, oh, you should send it to me. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll send it to you. But then it occurred to me, like, well, I might face him in the tournament, so maybe I shouldn't send it to him. Right, and right. since I didn't use his stuff, yeah. I don't think it's negative not to send it to him. But then event- when things happened and he's got to fight yeah, yeah. bibs right Fair. now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'll send it to you. But then I got busy and totally forgot. Okay. And rightfully, he called me out on it yesterday in front of everybody. I mean, he could have just texted me or called ago. me. Two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. right. But he decided to do it in front of everybody at the office. So I was like, okay, fine. He made a big deal about it. So I said, fine. So he goes, well, I sent you half my stuff, and I held back half my stuff because I thought you'd pull something like this. And I'm like, who? What is wrong so with the you ri- people? So the rivalry is still kind of there, but not like, really. Yeah, in his head. Like, I, honestly, I'm so busy. I just effing forgot. Right, right, right. So I sent him immediately Everything. 200 questions. Well, okay, okay. Because I was like, you sent me half. Here's half my I questions. I love that this happened at the Terminator screening. Okay, is it, so, <laughs> so before we get. So Ben and I were ball busting but, at the Terminator screening about everything was cool after. Yeah, of course. I right, love so, that. So what what before we get into the actual Terminator review, that's why I brought you in by the way okay. to review with Roxy and uh, and is, w- how much of that was accurate? Mm-mm. Well, to be you fair, know. Roxy wasn't there for most of it, so I don't know how okay. she could from oh, I saw accuracy. the emails. Oh, you saw the emails. He, oh, did, he, not, showed you he my did not emails? He did not No, no, I saw wow, his email to you. He did not send a couple Subterfuge. of pages of notes. He, he sent I said half. He said he sent you, half. You said he sent me a few pages. He sent I said a couple said of half. documents. He said, he said half second. He said a couple of documents. Okay. It was yeah. hundreds of pages. Okay. Of not that I saw. Pages? That's oh, okay. what he sent you. It was Great. It, but I opened it, looked at one page that I I'm can't use it and do that. I love I didn't know it was 100 pages, Roxy. I love how insane this is. All right, let's get It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Let's get to the review. This is all in bed. I don't think you're getting at the base of the stupid. John, hundreds of pages. I know, it's crazy. Okay. Trust me, that was my life forever. Yeah. But what John I, doesn't understand, first of all, I didn't tell the whole story because I wasn't going to tell the story, but I will say I'm Team John on this oh, one. Okay. I think that he shouldn't Ten send Ben time. any of the right, notes. But she's Team John epic. because it's nefarious. Yes, I'm not it's nefarious. Awesome. It's awesome to you convince somebody to send you their notes, tell them you're going to send theirs, and then to not... Heal. I love that. Oh, but but he, that's not what I did. I don't think he did that on so purpose. All right, all right this is a different, different part of the five di- horsemen. Yes, different conversation. Yeah, different conversation. Roxy, okay. I'm just old and I forget things. I'm right. sorry. Let's get the Terminator. <laughs> I wish Thank it was what I thought. So both of your tweets. So we're we're here oh, yeah, now. Yeah, we're yeah. going to talk yes, about Terminator, awesome. Dark Fate review. That's love my it. first question. How much of this played? The <coughs> score. A lot. They yes, used the score yeah, a lot. From the beginning. They used the score a lot, yes. Brad Fidel. Yeah, Junkie XL of, mixed it into certain but, moments. But it's but it's in it a lot. Yep. A okay. lot of people are saying that's the score is their favorite part. Yep. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Junkie, you're, Junkie okay, knew what okay, he was okay, doing. you got me so far. You got me so far. Oh, you All haven't right. seen it? No, not yet. I, I skipped Holy out on that. That's why we brought you in. Okay. Yeah. It's so, me and you 
So let's right, hear. Girl. I want to hear John's review first, oh. and then we'll we'll go with Roxy and then I'll ask questions. Go ahead, John. I, okay, I thought it was absolutely stellar. If you're a fan of the Terminator franchise, this is like bringing it back to why you fell in love with it. I see a lot of people comparing it to The Force Awakens in that it's bringing back the feeling of why you fell in love with the original trilogy. This brings back the feeling of why you fell in love with the first two films. Uh, it also introduces two or uh, three great new characters to the to the franchise, and they all knock it out of the park as actors with what they do. The new Terminator technology is effing freaky as hell. Okay. And then also Linda Hamilton, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Edward Furlong. They're all... Furlong's in it? Furlong's in it. They're all in this. Uh, and I think Schwarzenegger does some of the best acting he's done in decades. And I think it's great that Hamilton is back to like re uh, reprise the role of Sarah Connor. And she bring... looks a little over the top in the trailers, not so much in the movie. Not in my opinion, okay. no. Compared to what's everything that's happening, because the movie just starts and you're on the you're ride. It's go. a roller coaster. Okay. From Roxy, do you, Fuck do you, yeah, man. Would you say this is, this is the same page or a little different? Completely the same page. Yeah. I, yes. I love this movie. First yeah. of all, I love Mackenzie Davis. I, yes. I loved great. her and Tully. Mm. And then if anybody didn't see Izzy Gets the Fuck Across Town, right, right. that movie was awesome. I don't, nobody saw but it. But nobody yeah. is even have ever talks about her and Holton Catch. Fire. Old Catch Fire. That's she, what I found her. She's, she's great. excellent. Um, she's she's just so talented. So she was perfect casting. And if she hadn't been, the, this might not have worked. Okay. But because she yeah. was so excellent, she makes it work. Yeah, this was the absolute funniest I've ever seen Schwarzenegger be. I he had, but me in a wrong. good way, not in not, a not dry. We're, the whole we time. are not. Yeah, we're not funny. laughing at him like, uh oh, he's not fitting in this movie. Right. He did. He delivered exactly what he was supposed to, and I was not expecting yeah. that. Uh, it was there was a ton of laughs in a really great way and throughout say, the theater. Tim and Miller's then, directing? How's that? I thought so that good. his direction was really excellent. Okay. I thought that Linda Hamilton was so badass. I yeah. won't I won't say Coming what happened because of spoilers, smart. but her introduction is like yeah. everybody <laughs> stop what you're yeah. doing. It's Linda yes. and, and, Hamilton. And that I'll be God. back moment in the trailer totally works yeah, okay. in played, context. It doesn't work played in the really well, but yeah. what I will context say the movie it does. Yeah. What I will say is one of my favorite parts about this movie is that the uh, majority of the movie is three women kicking butt and they never yeah. and they never <laughs> need to acknowledge we're three women right. kicking butt. It right. just is. They just are they're awesome and it wasn't like I need to go seek out another woman it just <laughs> happened and I'm gonna say there's maybe 20 movies that have ever been made that have been able to accomplish that oh, also, so throw this that's in. really cool I'll throw this in there are twists three twists in this movie that when they happen you're like oh my god that's brilliant or that's awesome or I never even thought that was possible and so when you see them happen you're like oh, well that's a good the film well, well, let, me, let, me, let me jump off that because that's yeah. one of the things I thought Terminator's been missing is that even though it's the first two are just simple. They're simple premises. That's what I hear this one is. But it, there is still a fun way that they introduce time and how yeah. the post-apocalyptic thing does, does it a, do that very well. Uh, does it set itself up like the original mythology, the doomsday, all that? And B, does it set itself up for more movies? Hmm. I would say it possibly by the end sets itself up for more movies if they want to, but yeah. if they wrapped it up here, oh. I don't think anybody would complain. Okay, I okay. really don't. Uh, yeah, I think that we definitely could get more movies because we're world building, which is cool. I also think that if you've never seen Terminator before, you could watch this movie yeah. and okay. enjoy Great it, point. which is good because they need to bring on a new wave of fans. Right. And I, I think that this did a good enough job explaining what's happening without being boring for the people who have seen all the Terminator. I gotta tell you, you guys yeah. got me excited for it. I saw yeah. both of your tweets when it came out. Too. That's why I wanted you to talk about it on the show. But I've been hoping for a good Terminator movie since the second one. The first one's my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love the second one, but the first one's my favorite. And I have been looking for, I love this world, and it just has not delivered since 1990, 91, whenever it was. That's why the tweet yeah. saying this is the best since T2 does not do this justice right. because yeah. it makes it sound like it's, it's good enough. But it's, it's really like a backhanded movie. compliment. Yeah. 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 This is way more than watchable. This is a really good, solid, right. fun, butt-kicking movie. And Love don't it. be surprised if you cry at the end. Do okay. not really? be surprised. <clears throat> right. I certainly well. got emotional at the end. Well, I mean, the, se the second one was like that, too, you know? So, oh, yeah. uh, awesome, awesome, man! Uh, I am, uh, I am excited. Thank you guys both for. Um, cool. for you can stick stick around for the. We're going to break at eleven thirty. Okay. So, uh, anything else that we should be talking about here? To you know, Cody, maybe we should open up the phone lines now. Uh, oh, you got it, Chris. Thank you so much, Cody. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll open them up and we'll talk. Um, Did you make your announcement? No, 11 we're going to do that at eleven thirty. There'll be right. a big announcement. Imagine if he had just spoiled it. Yeah. yeah. Did well, you already tell everybody he that? He tweeted about it. Yeah. yeah. About the announcement. 
Yeah, we're doing a big yeah. announcement at eleven thirty. Making an announcement, and so, then somebody said, "Are you are you going to be a dad?" And I said, no. <laughs> "Well, we'll That's see." Incorrect. Well, well, you should. But it was a fun. You, say you never know. But I feel like that was a fair guess. That's a fair, fair guess. guess. Yeah. 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 Look at what Cody's yeah. done. Yeah. If they had said, "Roxy, you're going to be a mom," that would not be as, weird. Not as fair. Yeah. Right. You might as well say. Totally. You know, Although I did spend a lot of time with babies this week, screaming at them at the Millennium Falcon. No. No, you did scream at some kids. I did. I don't know if that was They nice. deserved it. I don't know about you that. You weren't doing your job. <clears throat> it's fine. Uh, Bill Belichick there. taught me. I wasn't there. Do your job. Do your job. Cheat. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, guys. It's me, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Uh, yep. What do you got first day, Jonathan? Um, well, before I send my question, just want to say how are doing very well. Good. Yeah, you're yeah, doing, doing good. Thank you. Nobody... I really like your voice. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. I, it's been a long time since I called in the show. All right. And I'm guessing I'm just going to say it while the bat right here. Um, I, um, what are your thoughts on, I know it, this news kind of dropped out like a few days ago. And a lot of people are not talking about it. But what do you think about Sam Raimi finally directing a movie for almost six or seven years, though? What's Raimi directing? Is that 1917, isn't it? Oh, that's Sam no, Raimi. Six Sam, uh, Sam Raimi is doing a new horror movie, I believe. Yeah. Let, me, uh, let me pull it up. Yes. What's, well, he's been producing a ton of shit over there. Well, remember, he was also working on yeah. the Ash vs. Evil Dead uh, mm, he's, show He's been for a producing while. a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, he's been, he's, he's, it's not like he's been ha- taking a hiatus from the business. He just hasn't been directing. I like Sam Raimi. Yeah. I do, too. Oz the Great and Powerful. Hot take, Roxy. Feature. Was that the last one that <laughs> last he directed? Last big feature film he directed. Yeah, maybe they wanted to take a break from it. Yeah. It's uh, a horror, I, and th- horror and th- uh, an anthology series, 50 States of Fright. Mark Ooh. Maron. Okay. Mark, Mark Maron. Maron. Yeah. Who was that? Was Who said that? About the movie that? I was just talking about the movie, though. That was just for a TV thing. I was talking about the movie that he got announced to direct. Yeah, well, the that's horror. not it. That's not it? What's the movie he's going to direct? The anthology though? series. Oh, sorry. Uh, agreeing to direct and produce an entry. Of, yeah. No, sorry it's the about horror that. Movie. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, Sony, it? uh, I'm, I'm trying to find it. I'm, I have, I'm not familiar with the I've news. Got, I've got a Bermuda Triangle, World War Three, or the King Killer Chronicle. Which one are you talking about, Jonathan? That's his IMDb. Yeah, it was Future World it's one a, is a horror movie. It's sort of like cross between Castaway mm-hmm. and Misery. Carrie, oh, I believe. Misery, yeah. I have Misery meets Castaway here, according Damien to the Hollywood Damien. Reporter, and yep. it's uh, yeah. Mark That's Swift right. and Damian Shannon who wrote the 2009 reboot of Friday the 13th. So it's an I untitled like horror movie right now. Okay. Well, this page Ooh. doesn't exist. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Okay. Well, I mean, I have no look, thoughts on this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, the thoughts I have is that I like Sam Raimi. Yeah. It's nice to see Sam Raimi back uh, yeah, cool, directing. Cool. So, thank you for the call, Jonathan. Appreciate it. I like it. horror movies. I like Sam Raimi. Yeah. I like Castaway. I like Castaway. Yeah. yeah Misery meets Castaway. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Where, she imagine yeah, putting, I'm gonna watch it. Annie I mean, Potts. Is that her name? Annie. What, not Annie uh, Potts. Annie, Annie, Annie Wilkes. Annie Wilkes. Put Annie Wilkes. John. Annie Wilkes. Excitement for this at all or no? For Raimi? Yeah. Uh, yes, in the way that he's going back to a genre that he does well in. Yeah. I think the last few, last couple of films he's done not so well. So you want to see him go and go what back into the couple. Fun, uh, oh, Oz oh. the Great and Powerful, uh, yeah. which is okay. It's not great. I but thought it's okay. Frank nah, was good in it. I thought Mila, not great uh, or powerful. Yeah. Mm, I, thought Mila Kunis, yes. I thought Mila Kunis was miscast. Yes. And I thought Rachel Weisz was incredible. Rachel Weisz was great. Um, and Franco is cool. He's fine. But it's not, yeah. 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 Thank you. Hey, you're on Clyde Live. Who do we got? Hey, you got Sean from Austin. What's up, Sean? Sean, from Austin. Hey, Sean. What do you got for us today, Sean? Hey, yo. Hmm? Hey, so uh, just a tinfoil hat question here concerning Uh-oh. Marvel. Mm-hmm. You know, um, a couple of uh, years ago, they released that horrendous Inhumans movie right. that came out in theaters and became a show. Um, but at D23, they announced Miss Marvel, and um, I would thought that was surprising because, like, uh, Miss Marvel is actually an, an inhuman character. Um, and there's been a lot of promotion for for that Marvel's Avengers game, and she has her own television show now, and now they're releasing like a live action uh, show. So I'm wondering, we talk about mutants and Fantastic Four, but could Marvel be dropping little seeds that they could get to any humans before they do even X Men or Fantastic Four releasing this Marvel beforehand? John, you're shaking your head. Yes. What do you think? Oh yeah, I think absolutely. I think they I think they saw what the Inhumans. It's a good rumor mill question. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right. They got they had an inhuman situation going on that was terrible, so they want to kind of retcon it and bring it back in because there's no way they're not bringing the inhumans back into the situation. Well, here's what happened too: is I think in like the next month, like this is this last year, Jeff Loeb is the head of Marvel yeah. TV, right? Yeah. So He's, Jeff yeah. Loeb. I mean, one of the funniest. I'll bring it up on TV Talk later today. One of the funniest pictures ever taken is Jeff Loeb at the premiere of Inhumans, and he's just like, 
because <laughs> he, he knows. He knows. He knows yeah, it's the, yeah. one of the worst things he's ever produced. And uh, I, I, Jeff Loeb at uh, the Comic-Con where they released the first episode of The Defenders, he got like this big Comic-Con award and it was this whole thing. I feel like that was the peak of Jeff Loeb. And now that Kevin Feige and the MCU are taking over Marvel TV for Disney+, Plus. All those inhuman characters that they botched 100% in yeah. the Inhumans thing are now going to be brought in correctly and in the right way to yep. actually form into series and then eventually get into movies. That would be my prediction. Of yeah, the they're going to build to the Inhumans. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you for the phone call and thank you to everybody who called in. We're going to take a break here. Uh, when we get back at 11:30, we have an announcement that we'll be making, and then maybe we'll take some calls depending on how long the announcement goes. And uh, I don't think it'll be that long. No. All right. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. got to really explain it. Probably an hour of explanation. Yeah. All right, so yeah. maybe we'll we'll open the phone lines back up. Sure. But first, we're going to make a, an announcement at eleven thirty. That was weird. The break didn't play. You see that shit, Alex? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck, Cody? It's because we didn't order the pizza. Hey guys, it's Perry here to let you know that Movie Talk is moving. We've had a great time in this 3 p.m. Pacific slot, but guess what? We want you to start your day with Collider Movie Talk, so we're moving. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to get a longer show with some brand new segments, so tune in starting Monday, September 16th, 9 a.m. Pacific. See you there. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you hey know everyone, we break down Roca. the latest and the greatest in the Roca. world of sports, John talk Roca. about the big John issues, Roca. the big John games, Roca. all John of it, John the rotating John band John of guests Roca. like Matt Nose and Jock Makunga. We've had Taylor Bashadi on, we've had so many great guests. Also, it's now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations. And I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Well, hello there. I'm Ken Napsok, one of the hosts of Collider Jedi Council, and I'd like to invite you to listen to our show, watch our show. It's on every Thursday. It's on the Collider video channel, and it's also available in podcast form if you'd like to listen to our sweet voices. On Collider Jedi Council, me, Christian Harloff, and a bevy. Guess I say, talk Star Wars. We celebrate Star Wars. We dig into the Star Wars news. We speculate everything about Star Wars including your questions. So join us on Collider Jedi Council. You're going to have a great time. What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the blue brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. 
Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. It's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Apple Podcasts, we can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars, episode nine's coming out. And then after episode nine, you got TV shows. So we're going to be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on, be real. Hi, I'm Amy Dallin, one of the hosts of Collider Heroes. And starting right now, you can catch our show Tuesday nights with a new Collider Heroes and a longer Collider Heroes podcast where Koi and I are going to talk your ears off. You already know that's coming. So make sure to go to YouTube, subscribe, and find us on the Collider Heroes podcast feed for all of that sweaty goodness. The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness. We talk about slashers. We talk about space horror. You name it. All on that show on the Collider Factory feed. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out. Get scared. Hopefully you survive the Witching Hour. What is this music, Cody? Is it just generic stuff? Yep. It you know what it reminds good. me it of? Good. Well, it's like, what? The Money Pit. I don't, wow. Yeah, the Money Pit someday. Yeah, put on the Money Pit someday, you'll think. I want to be cool. a Money Pit. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, Why? What? Why? Money, pit. money Pit's the opposite, <laughs> the opposite of what, what you're want. thinking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of Pit of Money. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a Pit of did you, Money. Have you ever seen the movie Money Pit? No. Tom Hanks? Tom Shelley Hanks, Shelley Long. No. You aren't, you aren't born yet. Okay, so you know the. the so what's that money pit then again? Money pit is, is where you it's just. Not a pit of money? S- no, you're sinking money sinking into money. it and it's just. Thre- so the so picture of like, a bottomless pit. Yes. Oh, and money. you throw money in there. No, yes. no, they buy this house, I think it's a great house, and it turns out to be a shit pit. Yeah. Oh, I've heard this expression before. Money oh, pit. no. It's I want to be a pit of money. Imagine you find somebody in your life that you fall in love yeah. with. You okay? want to be the actual I'm pit of money. That was, again, a low blow. I didn't mean to do that. But one day, after like you've been together for three or four years, he just screams at you you're a money pit it means he's been throwing money at you and you've literally been lighting it on fire right. yeah yeah oh <laughs> yeah okay listen this is not what we're talking about right now we have other things to talk about um we we had mentioned right. <laughs> we had mentioned at 11 30 that we had an announcement we do we're have uh, pizza we are getting pizza is that, is that true no. You, no, we're nowhere. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. All right. Well, don't, that's not the announcement. The announcement I'm going to throw over to Josh McCougar, who has an announcement for everybody here. So, Josh, yeah. the mic is yours. Uh, so, a uh, shout out to the people that thought I was going to be a dad. I'm not going to be a dad. Uh, I know Aww. my wife would like to be a mom much sooner than I would like to be a dad, but that's, you know, a marriage situation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, uh, for the last like three or four months, I've been like testing slash auditioning for a show and I booked that show. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Good um, I, uh, I cannot say, I can't say exactly what it is until the actual network that I'm going to be on does a press release for it. Uh, I've been told that it might be sometime end of November, beginning of December when that press release goes out. But when it does go out, I'm, I'm, you know, I'll tweet it and Instagram it. And so you guys will know that when we talked about it today on October 23rd, that's what we were talking about. So um, I'm going to be it's it's I'm going to be one of the hosts of the show. There's two of us that are, that are co-hosting the show. Uh, I'm, I've been told it's 12 episodes in prime time start airing in February. Okay. Um, and uh, I will be traveling around the country. Uh, I know I'm going to be spending a lot of time in New York, from what I'm told, and a lot of time just traveling around the country country for this show um it's awesome it's going to be on a major uh, cable network uh it's it's i mean it's an opportunity of a lifetime this is you know something that i right. wanted to do it's very much up my alley as far yeah, as things i'm good at doing uh and um unfortunately because of what's going to happen with the travel for the show it's probably going to take me off collider live for a while um you know and it's going to be the same day that you leave will probably be my last day I'll pro- i probably won't be on that show that friday your last day oh so thursday I'm, will be your thursday last show. will be my last day that halloween oh, well. mm. um, still my spotlight dude yeah. well, next <laughs> week Fitting. so next week thursday yeah. next week will probably be my last show i might come in to say goodbye and you're sure, the like, sure. last 10 minutes and then i have to shoot wg in america next friday um but so uh i'm gonna be and but when i'm in town so i don't know my travel schedule yet which is freaking 
freaking my wife out because she wants to plan some things around right. holidays and such. And I might actually be like out of town for Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm I've been told I won't be out of town for Christmas, which which is a nice thing. But um, I'm going to be on the road for a majority of the next four months, from what yeah. I'm told. So from November, December, January, February. Limited. So it's limited. You'll be you'll limited. Still be on the show. I will be on the yeah, show. You're not when, leaving. I'm not leaving like, the show. Just, like, not just limited appearances. Yeah, yeah. limited appearances. When so you're here. When I'm here. When I'm in LA, I want to be on the show. I want to be on Collider Live. Yep. Sitting in this chair, being a jerk, and you know, hopefully not insulting Roxy's personal life as many times okay. as I did today. Or you will. Or, or it could yeah. happen. Uh, we'll but say yeah. that. Will I it's... ever find love? Well, maybe when you get back, you'll actually be a contestant on The Bachelor. That's Whoa. true. That's true. With cat statues. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's a pretty incredible opportunity. And it was uh, I found out about it like two and a half weeks, three weeks ago. And I've been kind of keeping mum about it because I I don't I didn't know when exactly things right. were going to happen. Right. And I kind of found out earlier. You also needed the ink to dry. Right. I did. Yeah. Yes, I needed so, certain things so to happen. People are going to be asking, obviously, Riley. So, what does that mean as far as Collider Live and and going? Uh, uh, Collider Live moving forward, we, yeah. we we still want to make an announcement. I mean, okay. we're still working out the stuff, but I mean, you know, I can safely say I think that you know a lot of us are going to be here, but I, I want to save it for. Yet. Okay. We haven't when you have an figured it out, but I um, mean, if you can parse out what we were saying, Josh is going to come whenever he can. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm here. Roxy can as well. I mean, but we want to make a good announcement on what we're doing moving forward now that you are g- not going to be here as often, and obviously right. you're leaving. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Josh is really awesome. Thank you. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It was great. It's, it, yeah. yeah, it's it's great news. I hope news. everybody said you a ton of love for Thank it. Thank you. It's you awesome. should. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's yeah. a big it's a big thing. Especially I will when miss, you find out what it is. Yeah. 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 I will miss this show uh, when I'm not here, but again, when I'm in LA, I will make it my, you know, and we're my bees Wax. We're going to call you when you're on the road. Yeah. And Maybe like a where in the world is Josh McCoo. That's what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I do know that season one, from what I'm told, will be mostly domestic travel. Uh, but nice. with this, the concept of this show and the channel behind it and people that want it, I've been told that, you know, international is possible down the line and stuff like that. So Crazy. Uh, it's pretty cool. That's good yeah, stuff. That's really huge. Cool. Good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Very cool. Yeah. Proud uh, of you, brother. Yeah. Thanks, man. You, you, awesome. awesome. Can we, uh, what we'll do is, we'll, well, you're right, you did it in less than an hour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's open up the phone lines. We can take some Good calls. Open up those co- uh, phone lines. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's all right, Cody. You can't Cody, you owe me a pizza. Well, what was yeah. he trying to do? He was just going to open those phone lines, Christian. Oh. He's going to have to speak. Clear. It was a bit. It was a bit. <laughs> uh, okay. So let us know when it, when it is open. If you want to call, you want to talk to, uh, you wish Josh good luck and all that good stuff, you can do that. And also talk about some other shit. <laughs> okay, hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Okay, um, yeah, third time the charm. Cool, cool. What's going on? Ed. What's up, Ed? What do you got Ed. for us today? <laughs> uh, so, Josh, I gotta say, uh, congratulations on your new show. Thanks, man. Uh, rumor Mill is my favorite thing oh. right now in Collider. Thanks, man. Nice. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I've got to pick yeah, a. Live. What's up? Yeah, I just see like I've been through them and it's fantastic. Thanks, in one man. day it's fantastic. Thanks, man. Appreciate uh, that. I have a rumor, uh, rumor for you. Okay. You say that's okay. Sure. Okay. So rumor is uh, now that Kevin Feige is looking over Marvel TV, also he's going to bring back just two actors right now from the Netflix series. Those actors are Charlie Cox and Christian Ritter as Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Mm. Uh, I, I love the rumor. If I, if I could add anybody in there, too, I would definitely add uh, Mike Coulter in there as Luke yeah. Cage because I, I think you could replace Iron Fist or just forget about Iron Fist altogether and be totally fine. Uh, I don't. I, I think with like the Netflix deal and situations is I don't think we have access to those characters for at least another year and a half, right? Something like that? I, because of the streaming, well, yeah, just streaming. He's, he's yeah. waiting for the contract. He's waiting, waiting for it. So. for the contract and then... Yeah, I mean, listen. When the contracts go up, if they would, be, I think they would be very silly to recast. I do. Yeah. I think that because fans are so invested in Jessica Jones. I mean, I think if you, there aren't many actresses out there that that could pull off what Kristen Ritter pulled off. I think she was e- extremely like perfect for the role of Jessica Jones. She's perfect. It's perfect casting. Yeah. Uh, and Mike Coulter is perfect as Luke Cage. And I think Charlie very Cox. Charlie Cox is, is amazing. Is, is Daredevil? He's yeah. Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Now, no one's mentioning Punisher, but it's just a different vibe. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, follow up question for you though, Josh, yeah. with this announcement that you just made, rumor mill. Yeah. So uh, a rumor mill. We're t- I'm talking to a couple people about who I'd like to host the show uh, because I think it, it, it takes a certain kind of energy to do that oh, show. Yeah. So you want to continue the show? Absolutely. Great. Yeah. And I think Mark Fernandez really likes the show, and I have a couple people in mind that that I would like to to sub in for me. And again, if I'm in LA on a Wednesday, I will be the host of Rumor Mill. Maybe yeah. you should have the public vote. That's kind of fun. I don't like doing that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so my announcement is I was taking over a rumor mill. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, coming back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just for a rumor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a rumor. Yeah, That's a rumor. That's, that's a rumor. We'll be taking over. Uh, uh, all right, thank you. It's a good question. It's a good rumor. It's a good question. Thank you for the call. Yeah. All right, Cody, let us know when we get somebody else. I'm going to let you know, Christian. Would you let me know when someone else calls in? Oh, yeah. All if right. the Pizza Wagon from Brooklyn is listening right now, could they bring over a, a pizza couple of pies? I haven't gotten that oh, in my mind now. No God. Yeah, you got me now. Come no on. No, 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 no. We're cheese. Bring cheese. me a cheeseless pizza. I almost want to drive over there. So pizza cheese. without cheese on it is legitimately not it's, pizza. No, it's not. It's just Do bread you know with sauce on it. At Schmodown, this couple that I'm obsessed with, I won't say their names because a lot of people know them, uh, that are big Schmodown fans, okay. got me a slice of cheeseless pizza, and there was a whole debacle. They got a Massive fight about it because they because, because they did she it. wanted to wait for a new uh, piece without cheese and he was like we have to go meet up with everybody and she was like I'm bringing Roxy this slice oh. and they really got into it mm. appreciate yeah. that interesting my mother's texting me like oh. crazy what she is she asking about me not right now oh. no but uh, I mean she might be Derek? I don't know hey you're on uh, the, the this show who's this <laughs> <laughs> hey it's uh, Andrew from Lancaster Pennsylvania hey, hey Andrew, Andrew what do you got for wait, us today? what part of Pennsylvania Lancaster. Oh, uh, Lancaster. Oh, uh, Lancaster. 7. The 717. What up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Well, I, I grew up in uh, in Cannonsburg. So no. Oh, that's fuck it. yeah. That's right. You're a Big Mac. We've talked about this <laughs> yeah. before. Uh, oh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you got for us today? So, a uh, <clears throat> bit of a uh, logistical question, I guess, for you guys. Um, I, uh, my wife and I, uh, brand new wife as of last month. Congratulations. 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 Rob it in, why don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice work, Andrew. Thank you. Oh, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> You, you fit. Um, you fit so in just right. We we uh, we just launched a um, YouTube channel called the Experience Point. Um, nice. Now the this is not as much of a plug as it sounds, but we're trying to figure out. I guess uh, with with you guys being in the public eye and and your online personalities and stuff, uh, have you run into any problems using like your your real names, your full names? Because right now we're just using first names, and I know you know as soon as you put your identity out there in the internet, that kind of opens you up to all kinds of problems. So. Wondered how you guys uh, handled all that. If your face is out there, they can find out your last name pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. part of being, uh, it's part of doing this thing. Yeah, it's funny is that I, I never thought about. I it. never even thought about it when I started because I didn't really think it was gonna. It just it was gonna be just Mark so, and I just doing yeah. reviews. That's what Darina and, does. What changes her name? Darina. No. Oh. Darina goes by Darina. That's right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Because right. oh. um, she thinks about that. Yeah. I just think everybody, if you want to know her last name, you figure out her figure last out. name. Yeah, uh, I yes, part. I've had huge issues with yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely. Just really? part you guys of know the, that I've had yeah, massive yeah, yeah, yeah. like stalker and oh, whatever right, issues. Right. 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 Uh, but if I didn't yeah. put my last name, yeah. I, I don't think it'd be any different. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just part of the. I mean, and this. Part of it. And we. Yeah. It's part of it. And it's just we. And it's compared to what. We're, if if it were D D minus 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 level personalities when it comes right. to when you compare us next to, you know, you put, yeah. look at someone like whether it's look Hillary Swank. I don't know why that's the first name no, that comes in my I mean, mind. Think about the Fran Drescher situation, right? Like, like and it's all horrible. that stuff. So it's, it's just part of the. It's part of it. Fran Drescher. Uh, Somebody broke into her house recently. No, this was oh. years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, stole everything. Oh, the, assaulted. Like oh, a little, holy shit. it was horrible. Um, yeah. yeah, but it happens. Yeah, it happens. The uh, Kardashians have been broken into a bajillion uh, yeah, times yeah. too. Like you, your name is out there, right. and you're a big star. Yeah, it happens. People um, want to hurt you just because you're famous. Yeah, and and, and I, I don't even. I don't, we're not. Not, yeah. That's why I said the big stars. No, I know, I know, I know. So I, I've just heard people in this space go, "Yeah, you know, we're, we're being famous, you're not famous. You're not. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's not famous. Yeah, I don't, yeah, okay. Um, okay. Uh, thank you for the phone call. We'll get another best call. Best of luck. Thank with you. Your best show. of luck for be, sure. I mean, but with your show, as far as like names and everything, just be you. Yeah. Like you it's know, the I mean, main thing. you can't help who's gonna hurt you. Correct. Yeah. For that. yeah. You, you just hope that there are way more good people out there than bad. And yeah, I don't know. But there is something about a couple that you could just call like. You know, uh, Stephanie and Pete. Right. That's the name of the channel. It's like you can find out their their Steph- names. Pete. Steph- Steph- and Pete. Pete. Steph- Stephanie Pete. and Pete. I like it. Close. That's pretty Steph- good. Right. Pete. Cody, let us know. Hello. Thank you. Hey, you're on Cloud Crush Live. That. What do we got? Uh, just Saul. 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 What's Saul. up, Saul? What do you got for us today, you lunatic? 
lot of changes going on. I'm not sure what I think. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of nervous over here. I know. And uh, I feel like I'm in the middle of a custody battle again. Uh-oh. And I didn't handle that one very well either. Oh, no, that's all right. So I'm just letting you know I love everybody. <laughs> I know you do. And I'm going to be continuing to annoying as many people as possible. Perfect. Well, correct me and if I'm... It can... Go ahead, Roxanne. Oh, here Correct we me if I'm wrong, Josh, but I don't think that you are also, your show is not also going yeah. at a. Uh, no, at, no, at the same I'm not time, directly no. competing yeah, yeah, with anything. You want me to address that? that you, th- you just threw that in there. If you want me to address that as far as why that's going on, I am. No, I'm, are I'm only saying like a, it shouldn't feel like a custody battle. His show. No, but, you, but that a, was a side shot. Uh, I really wasn't it, intended to be. It seemed like. So now I got to address it. The reason why people are wondering is why it's 10 to 12. It was definitely 10 to 12. My wife goes to school on. On Monday and Wednesdays, I am with the kids from around one o'clock till five. So, uh, in order to do a daily show, I have to do morning. Brett and Kate are also on my show, um, and they can't, they do, they are not available later on. So, I had to go in the morning. That's immediately what I told Fra- uh, Fernandez when we had the conversation. He was cool with it, and that's why it was. So, people were asking. So, anyway, uh, so hey, what do you guys? Saul, thought? have you ever thought about doing like a fan film of Salt, but spell it like your name? Salt. Yeah, I get it. Like the Angelina yeah. Jolie. Probably. Yeah, like the Angelina. Yeah, he's, but, the he's Angelina got the hair. Jolie I mean, he's got version. like longer yeah, hair and beard. That we is could, blonde. That I is wouldn't blonde. put it past Saul that he has actually a government trained assassin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Well, Saul, you got something for us besides causing fights? <laughs> um, no, actually, I wanted to cause another fight. Oh, so, uh, great. Asking, do you have? A, do you, is there going to be anything like next week in, uh, for Collider? It, it's a it, it's a big deal what's going on right, with Christian moving on. Are you, are you planning anything sort of special? Are you just going to take it easy, or are you just going to go down with guns ablaze and throwing people under the bus? No, people? No. I'm not, no? Uh, no, of course not. This is a, I've said it many times. These are these are my friends. These are my friends. These are my family. And um, as far as doing anything special, that's a Riley question because uh, he's the producer of the show. So I don't think it's appropriate I, to say like, oh yeah, we're going to do a big thing for I my. Took off last for time. Friday, so I'll, I'll oh, be, be here. here. Yeah, okay. I yeah, took yeah. off Screen Junkies on Friday. Yeah. Make sure. Well, okay. <laughs> Good. Thanks a lot, Rob. I think, like, well, let's just, impact. when you said going out with a bang or whatever, I mean, I think we're just going to try to fun. Yeah. And yeah. have a good last week. Um, Josh will be back when he can. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are going to be seeing Christian all the time still. So right. it's not like, yeah. you know, it's not like you're moving across the country and not right. doing a show anymore. No, still, I'll, you'll still be Is able that to a shot find JT? Honestly, it was uh, none of <laughs> these are really, shots. You're, you're already taking shots. <laughs> I really wasn't intending to. Uh, well, he's uh, he's doing his own videos. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, true. I think yeah. you should change the name, like instead of like JT movie Wait, things, Riley, like J, can you, J Cheese T movie. Can things? you get your the, movie cheese? What is it? Can you get your foot out of your mouth, please? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I guess so. Shaka I guess so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, Saul, for the phone call. And we'll, hopefully, I, I, I have no idea what next week holds in store, except what Roxy said. We're going to have fun. We'll have a good time. And then if Friday's a, a things. We have Halloween yeah, as well. Yeah, that's Thursday for sure. Thursday, yeah. so have, we're going to have something. Have we talked about, I mean, I know we've talked about Jerky Boys, which is the yeah. best. Have we talked about that Saul sounds like a Jerky Boy? Definitely boys? sounds like a Definitely boy. Boy. Yeah, That's what right? we thought he was going to be when yeah. we saw him in person. He looks nothing like we When thought. he calls, he kind of like, like, this is Kissel. <laughs> it's just a um, all right, let's do one more Here's call. We'll call do you know Saul's last name? Rosenberg. <laughs> Don't say it on air. No, that's the really. jerky voice. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Also, that's a Jew. Yeah. Yes. This is Saul Saul's Rosenberg. Not. Saul's not I a forgot Jew. my shoes and my glasses. I don't think Saul's a Jew. No. Saul, call back. No, he's not. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? How you doing now, you know? How you doing now, you know? That's been stuck in my head you since know. you said it. It's nice to see you now, you know, what kind of questions you got for us now, you know. Well, uh, I can't keep it up, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, this is Scotty from Monterey. What's going on, guys? Hello, Scotty. Scotty what do you got for us today? No. Now you know. Uh, just wanted to, to call in and say uh, I got a chance to see Peanut Butter Falcon last night. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, okay. Really, really enjoyed it. So that, that interview you guys did with... Uh, Tyler Nielsen and was it Michael Schwartz? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Still sticks out as one of the best ones for me. That's great. And uh, just really want to thank you for recommending it and Hell bringing yeah. it to my attention. Hell I'm yeah. so glad that you saw it and that you liked it. And uh, I, th- I think it is right now my number one spot for the year. I think, I'm going to uh, go Jojo Rabbit yeah. and then cl- like right under it is Peanut Butter Falcon. Like, yeah. I mean, both, and, you, and you can't go wrong with either film. They're both yeah. effing fantastic. I got to so. see uh, Jojo. But uh, yeah. thank you for the call, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, we, sure. do, we do yeah. some breaking news, which is pretty awesome. We have breaking news we here. Got, yeah, uh, Mark, some, Ham- Mark yeah. Hamill. 
He has uh, responded to our George Lucas video and uh, said no comment on the content. But uh, Josh R. Thompson does a superb impression of George, best I've ever seen. That's great. What, a, what, a, what a boost of confidence Holy for him. Shit, right? Right. Yeah, that's, man. Cool. that's really that good. That is Skywalker. Just, uh, that's, that's, that's cool. great. All right, that's I think great. That, uh, and, you knew that, and you knew that Luke Skywalker. You knew he was gonna watch that Mark Hamill was going to watch it. Are you Absolutely. kidding me? Expect, it, well, it, now that it's getting the rounds, more people are going to definitely see this that's thing. Gonna, that's, it's that's a signal that's, boost right yeah, there. Okay, yeah. listen. Uh, short show today, but hashtag... That's the show. That's the show. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you to uh, Roxy and uh, Riley and Hey Alex Fuck and you Cody. All. And one more time, congratulations to Josh McCuga. Thank you guys. Um, thank can't you can't wait much. to hear Josh more is about so it. Good. Yeah. And really we'll, proud uh, of you. yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Any guests tomorrow, Riley? Uh, I don't think so. No, Perfect. we don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we'll be back <laughs> tomorrow. See ya. Pizza.